Lil Gay Talk Show with Joel Tatum and Charlotte Shotgun. Houston's hot mess of a podcast. A funny but thoughtful look at the LGBTQIA plus community. Good morning. Good morning. Good it's, morning with the sun. It's another day with the oh, beautiful day with the sun out. Uh, I put on my sunscreen and went for a walk today. It, it was so nice out. It was just. Do you just, ever walk? Yeah, I, was I know, just right? Sewing in the cold all day. <laughs> 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 I was like, oh. Why? Uh, because I have to make some money. I, well, I know that, but <laughs> why is it so cold in the house? Oh, because uh, it's hot outside. <laughs> I'm not trying to burn to death. I'm trying to freeze mm-hmm. to death. I actually didn't turn on the air conditioner until oh. maybe about 3 o'clock this afternoon. You're also elevated, so it's not as hot up here. Yeah, that's true. And I had the windows open, you know, just to let some air in. But then I realized people are going to be over here, and I don't want anybody to be sweating, sweating in my own apartment. That That's just rude. Very rude. That's just rude. It's disrespectful. Mm-hmm. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> that is kind of disrespectful because it's like, oh, my God, i got to take my shirt off in your house, which I'm okay with, by the way. I'm always okay with that. So we have, a, we have a guest today. Oh, yeah, we do have a guest today. It's a dear friend of mine, mm-hmm. all the way from South Block 13. Exactly. Well, the dumpster out back, really. I was that's just, that's uh, where we met. That's where we got around. arrested. Mm-hmm. Of course, of course. <laughs> that sounds like... Our are together. That sounds like... <laughs> completely sounds like all my hookups. You, exactly. Right, 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 right by that, the dumpster. Do you remember that one time in Drag Race when they had that blue challenge and they had to, like, pose next to each other, like, if they were convicted? <gasps> yes. That's us. We're, like, oh. Madden Laqueef and... Yes. <laughs> Queef on me, madame, please. Mm-hmm. <laughs> please, sir, may I have another queef? Mm-hmm. Uh, this is Annalie Anna, Anna, Anna Naylor. Annalie Naylor. Anna it's Lee a sex Naylor. joke. Did you Did you get it? I got I got the you, sex joke. Uh, let me just spell it out. So, Annalie oh, oh, sp- <laughs> nail her. So, I want it up the butt mm-hmm. is what I want people to know when they hear my name. Okay. You know, mm-hmm. I'm a little bit, uh, I'm a little bit country. I'm a little bit rock Toxic. and roll. Okay. Oh, <laughs> mm-hmm. well, to- yeah. well, I am white, so that mm-hmm. does come with its mm-hmm. uh, burdens and to let bear. Me, let me tell you something. I mean, compared to the people in this room, I mean, poster board white. I mean, <laughs> oh. Oh my God. exactly. Oh my God. You know, they, I, I'm mm-hmm. changing an office during mm-hmm. the day, so mm-hmm. the ha- I, it's not proper at my job to show mm-hmm. our mayor. At mm-hmm. least that was in the uh, my. <laughs> my book when I got to the office I said oh the dress code males can't show arm hair I said hmm that's very interesting anyways um, but yeah I'm hitting the table I know but see but when I go out as a woman I am uh, fully uh, chest haired mm-hmm. arm hair beard hair all mm-hmm. the hair I'm the hairiest out. bitch in out there mm-hmm. you know mm. She even, she even uh, glues on that prosthetic unibrow. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> no, honey, I just don't pluck. <laughs> you know, when I, when I first heard the name, I went, oh, she's going to be like a super southern queen. Oh. Well, and Because yeah, it's yeah. Anna Lee yeah. Naylor. And then I said the name like several times and I went, oh, Anna Lee Nail her. Mm-hmm. That's cute. <laughs> Sex show. Yay. It, it took me a little bit because, like I said, I went with Anna Lee because I'm like, oh. And then I looked at some of your pictures, and I'm like, this is not a proper Southern girl. No, no, no definitely this is not. not a proper, especially the one with you in the bathtub with all the wild hair. <laughs> oh, my Lord, I loved it. I loved it. It looked like you had a bad night out. You know, that was And it was just about to get bathroom. worse. <laughs> my friend literally lived in mm-hmm. her house like that. And I was just like, well, I, I'm just going to base this off of you. <laughs> my character is just a little bit of you, a little bit of me. A little bit of us. Exactly. So tell us how Anna Lee Naylor was born. Well, that took a little bit of time. I was um, I was a Halloween queen. Okay. I was like, hey, I'm going to dress up in drag for Halloween. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, no. Actually, Pride. That was my first time. I was feel- yes, feeling very androgynous. I had a white lace, white lace dress from Rainbow mm-hmm. and this um, black and 
red like corset from uh, mm-hmm. Erotic Cabaret down the street. I went to high school right down the street from here. Oh, and really? my drug dealer used to live a block <laughs> behind you. So this is all just bringing back such memories. I feel like this was kismet. This is you know? Exactly. Mm-hmm. And so that was my first time and I, I wore my hair like how it is pretty much now. Mm-hmm. But I put this little like lace, like little like thing in my hair. It was like this little like doily mm-hmm. that was like attached to like a hair clip. I was like, oh, so woman. woman. <laughs> and I duct taped my body. I did um, that too the first time I did With dry. saran wrap and duct tape. I used to wrap my body Why would you wrap. subject yourself to such... Because a oh, drag race you made you believe that you had to have tuck. Yeah. Feminine yeah. curves. I mean... Sir. You want to have I mean, that when you, Now... I'm sure drag race is I'm toxic sure. and it makes you think that's <laughs> the only way to do drag. Well, well I wouldn't. I wouldn't give drag I'm race sure. all the credit. No, oh, no, 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 you shouldn't no. know. It's my deep, deep seated body dysmorphia. No. <laughs> <laughs> that's all right. It's from years of being the fat kid. Mm-hmm. You know, you not always. You had to do like whenever you wanted to do drag, you had to like mm-hmm. duct tape your fucking balls and your dick back, and then. Mm-hmm. Oh, that part I understand, but I'm talking about saran wrapping around the. The torso oh yeah, and all that, that. that's because I just didn't have money for a corset at mm-hmm. the yeah, time. So no. you, you mm-hmm. got to be ingenuitive. You got to you mm-hmm. got to be the MacGyver. Well, of course, that's what drag queens are. They're the you, MacGyvers. Like, you put the tape on the outside too. Yeah, they're the, the MacGyvers thing. of why entertainment. Why are we like? I'm telling you, kindred spirits. I need we to sure are. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's fine. It doesn't transfer over. Oh, it doesn't. Are you sure? Because yeah, I can hear it in my mic. Okay. Oh, so yeah. And then what I went to like acting school and that was a whole ordeal in New York. And I got in a bunch of student debt, had to come back home, Mm -hmm. was really depressed, you know, did some, did some extracurricular activities, (coughs) if you know what I mean. And, um, then I got a steady job at a bank. Ding. Mm-hmm. I am an assistant bank manager now. Been there for six years and hating every minute of mm-hmm. it. Pew, 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 pew. <laughs> so I was just like, look, I need to do something creative. I need to do something that fulfills mm-hmm. that fulfills me. So there was a little show at a bar that is now dead. Um, you've been in town for a while, right? Oh, I've been here for... Yes, Since yes, the yes. beginning of the time, girl. You're a fixture. You're a fixture <laughs> upon the wall of Montrose. Yes, exactly. Uh, well, upon the bedpost, mm-hmm. honestly, right? Um, <laughs> pretty much, yes. Pretty much. So mm-hmm. you remember Guava Lamp? Of course. So there was... Uh, a Guava Lamp's sh- only been gone for just a few a year. years. Not even. Yeah. It closed during the pandemic. And yeah, it closed the Yeah, Poppies. Yeah. Yeah. Poppies. Yes. Mm-hmm. Poppies Houston. Poppies Jula. Mm-hmm. And um, there was a show there that uh, a bunch of the alternative girls in town Mm -hmm. uh, did called Smoke Break. And they had, what did they call it, kumquats, white trash uh, American pageant. And Mm -hmm. it was on the 4th of July. And I was just like, oh, baby. No one can do white trash yeah. like me. <laughs> so, you want to see trash, Mama? Oh, baby, you're, <laughs> you're like at I me. got this in the bag. Oh yeah, <laughs> and that—that that was where that bathroom photo mm-hmm. was from. That was my little photo shoot on my first night out in drag. Mm-hmm. Made this big, huge teased hair that I put birds and cigarettes and beer cans mm-hmm. in, and I took up an old pair of jeans and. Um, <laughs> made a skirt out mm-hmm. of it <laughs> that barely fit around my pads mm-hmm. and um, I got this shirt off of Amazon that I stoned and ripped up and mm-hmm. Anna Lee was born. Mm-hmm. She was ready to get nailed mm-hmm. and you know what? She nailed it. She Fair did nail it. I won the pageant, baby. Uh, oh, look at you. you. I did I did cry, you know. It was a weird moment because one of the one of the things that we had to do in this pageant was have a hot dog. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I had been invited to that. <laughs> it was freaking a while. Mm-hmm. And I don't know if you've ever tried to eat a bunch of hot dogs very fast, but it is very hard and very gross. Mm-hmm. So I just started, like, shoving them in my mouth, chewing them up, and just, like, rubbing them all over my body as mm-hmm. they spattled out of my mouth. Mm-hmm. And everyone was looking at me like, this bitch is a crazy person. And I said, yes, the mental illness is strong with this one. With this one. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you, were, you were determined to win. <laughs> oh, baby, I was She's gonna do bank. anything. Like, mm-hmm. And then um, we had, and then it was the top two was chosen. Mm. I think there was only like four of us. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so um, we had to lip sync to Gretchen Wilson's "Redneck Woman," mm-hmm. and 
Um, after that, I never looked back. I decided to do another competition mm-hmm. uh, called Dragon on Three, mm-hmm. which was also at Guava Lamp, hosted by the Blackberry. And from there, I just I w- really wanted to win that damn pageant, mm-hmm. but it's a competition. I wouldn't even call it a pageant, but. That was a little bit more intense because it's like weekly. Yeah, that I didn't realize. <laughs> like, mm. you know, the drag that you see on TV is not the same type of drag mm-hmm. <laughs> that you see locally. Mm-hmm. It's more, um, God, what's the word? I mean, somewhat political, and also just showing people like, hey, you can. I can perform. I can do this. I can be here on time. I don't get too fucked up at shows. Mm-hmm. I know how to go on stage and, like, say my words. And then look mildly halfway decent. <laughs> mildly. Don't. You're a consummate professional. Well, you know, that's the thing is, like, you have to be... It's Drag is fun, and drag is a great creative outlet, but it's also... You got, it's a job. Yeah, it's, it's a job, job just like anything else. Because mm-hmm. people are relying on you mm-hmm. to make money for a bar, basically. Yeah, exactly. That's, yeah. I didn't realize that that's, like, the business of it until, you know, doing it for a little bit. And you just kind of go, oh, well. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, I have, um, so I was born on the 4th of July. And um, I have my my second year uh, drag anniversary Mm -hmm. in uh, July 4th. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's that's great. You know what? I want, I'm very, I I cannot believe I'm saying this because, like like you said, I've been a fixture on a bedpost in this neighborhood. For quite some <laughs> I'm time. sorry. Don't don't take it don't take it out on oh, Charlotte. No, 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 I no. said that. No, no, no. no. I didn't. No, I'm not. I'm, <laughs> flat, I'm, I'm flattered by that. Oh, good. Thank good. you. Good. My goodness. I'm so flattered by that. <laughs> but honestly, until this year, I had never heard of Dragon on at all, and I didn't even. Oh, know. really? When it was when it got up to five, I'm like, where was I during f- one through four? <laughs> You know, and yeah. How did well, you didn't really go out to the bars until like. No, I actually, uh, because of my own personal issues, yeah. stayed away from the gay bars because of self esteem issues. I just couldn't handle. You know, it's the anxiety. We, you know, oh, yeah. I, it's the anxiety. I love being gay, but I also hate dealing with other gays sometimes because we are so judgy. You're you know, so judgy. that's how you taste them all. Mm-hmm. Like, and mm-hmm. that's that's my whole thing is like. That drag gave you the power to do is just be like, oh, I don't, I don't know any of y'all. Mm-hmm. I don't really care. Mm-hmm. You can think of me whatever you want to think mm-hmm. because I'm just gonna do me, and mm-hmm. you can either like it mm-hmm. or not. That's why I have <laughs> such a high admiration for drag queens because I feel like, I feel like they get out there and you put it all all out on the line it's for very a bunch vulnerable. of people who could be quite mean if they yeah. really want to be. <laughs> And I, I could be one of those people, by the way. So I'm not, I mean, first to throw, I mean, stones in glass houses. But, mm-hmm. you know, but it it's terrifying to, to think that you get out on stage and there's a group of people who are already judging you the moment that you walked on stage. And then you have to perform for them at the same oh. time. So it's, I, I have a great admiration love for, the challenge. For, for drag. Well, you know what? Here's, here's my motto. Nobody can say anything mm-hmm. meaner to me that I don't already say to yeah, myself. exactly. So, Ooh, I know how to bash myself. Bring it on, baby. In a minute. <laughs> in a New York minute. Yes, Honey, I do. I'll gay bash myself enough for everybody, yeah, okay? exactly. <laughs> exactly. So it's like, you know, I'm trying to, and you, the wildest, you know what the wildest thing I've done so far? Hmm. Posed in my underwear, <gasps> scandalous, or in his underwear at the Eagle on the top on the top bar, showing off my little oh scrawny body with goodness. the big belly. Oh please! <clears throat> on on the top, I'm like never, <laughs> in my, never in my 53 years on this planet did I ever think that I would be standing on top of a gay bar. Oh baby, in my underwear, just. Just being me. Well, let me we tell you something. Her, we had to tell her to put her clothes back on. Uh-huh. Well, let me tell you yes, something. Yes, I did have to be told to put my clothes back because I was going to walk through the bar like hey, You should have. Because I was feeling good about my People would have tipped you, myself. baby. They would have said, hey, baby, how you doing? Because mm-hmm. you know what? As soon as those pictures come out, you better believe your bottom dollar mm-hmm. that there's going to be somebody jacking off to you. Just going, yeah, baby, give me that fucking body. Yeah, you know give, it me, give it to me. I'm slightly disturbed and okay by that. <laughs> Hell yeah. You're a sex symbol. Mm-hmm. Everyone can be a sex symbol. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah, I'm slightly disturbed and... <laughs> 
But, <laughs> but I'm also <laughs> aroused by that. Oh, it's my voice. You like that? Yo, mm-hmm. yeah. Oh, uh, <laughs> filthy pervert. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Give me those little undie bits. This is. This bitch should have won. <laughs> <laughs> she should have just talked like that the whole time. <laughs> you were, that's what would have won. You know, you, you were you were just so you were full of life. I love yeah, that. Yeah, I just I love it. What can I say? Mm-hmm. I'm a mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm a crazy person. <laughs> I warned you. I actually escaped from the psych wards of you. Girl, that's ninety percent of the gay community in Houston. Girl, I'm used to it. <laughs> it's now when I go on a date, I just go look. Just tell me what your baggage is right now, so we can get this over with. <laughs> Honey, when I go on a date, do I say you got to check in with your parole officer, or uh, are we good to go out for like an hour? Yeah, exactly. Do you need me to blow in the breathalyzer? Because hold on, I got to prepare for that. Yeah, exactly. Look, I already been drinking. You didn't tell me about a breathalyzer, but right? Exactly. <laughs> Well, I'll call it an Uber and going home. You do what you need to do. Oh, honey, you got money for an Uber, bitch? We're walking. <laughs> you ain't getting an Uber on my dime, baby. <laughs> Just order the Uber and blow the breathalyzer. That's a good idea. Let me write that down. <laughs> oh, my God. I love when we have a guest who just loves to have a good time on the show. Yeah. yeah I like just told her mm-hmm. to bring booze. She's like, I'm there. Yeah, well, of course. Said, the liver is evil and must be punished. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, my Lord. This is, this, is, this is turning into a really fun 15 minutes so far. Oh, it's only been 15 minutes? I feel like I just got here. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! So drag, so dragging on five now. I, you know what? I have a lot of questions. Uh-huh. So first of all, wasn't it All Stars Five? It yes, it is. So it's both. Mm-hmm. It's dragging on five All Stars. So basically, what All Stars mean is that we've all competed in previous dragon ons. Mm-hmm. Some of us more than others. <laughs> <laughs> Me, I did three, four, and five. Because you know what? I'm mm-hmm. a glutton for punishment. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I, almost, I said to Black Bear, I was like, well, maybe I'll do sticks. And she's like, I don't know if I'm doing it again. I said, all right, girl, whatever. Mm-hmm. Well, all I I'll probably be there. That a couple of girls from RuPaul, they got other awards going on. So they didn't win. And oh, their yeah. lives are going fantastic. I mean, I like I said, mm-hmm. you know, I may, I may have been a lovely second alternate, mm-hmm. which is third place. But. Um, mm-hmm. You know, I I feel really proud of what I did. You, you know, did it really good. I, I the whole every week. Yeah, mm-hmm. I really feel it. I was very strong throughout the whole competition, mm-hmm. which could have been a hindrance to me in mm-hmm. a way, but because. Oh my gosh! Oh my, I'm so sorry. Oh, I'm so sorry. I can't bleep that out. <laughs> I'm, so sorry. I'm, I'm sorry, but it's gonna have to stay in because I can't bleep that. No, out. that's fine. <laughs> sorry, there's just something in my delicate throat. Mm-hmm. Um, ah. mm-hmm. But yeah, like I, I feel like I did really well because mm-hmm. it took me until this season to really be able to be like, okay. What I do is not what everyone else does mm-hmm. in town. Like, they don't... I admire mm-hmm. the drag queens or the gals in town that can go out there and be beautiful, gorgeous mm-hmm. dancers. Like, that's something that, like, I am in awe of because it's just... It's amazing to me, but it's not something that I can do mm-hmm. or really want to do because, for me, there's 20 pretty girls dancing at the bars down the street. I don't want to be like that. I mm-hmm. want to be my own thing because really I've never I find the beauty and the ugly and the disgusting and the nasty and the mm-hmm. raunchiness and like having you I my favorite part is when I am doing a number mm-hmm. and I am being so gross and nasty and I literally look in people dead in the eyes and I start they're holding out a dollar and as I'm coming near them they're like, "Oh no, do I really want to give you this dollar?" I'm like, like yes, on the floor. exactly. Mm-hmm. So that's what that's what's fun to me to like shock people and go, "Oh my gosh." I think the shock value is a really good thing with performing. Yeah. So that was that was hard for me to figure out how to translate that into something that mm-hmm. was palatable, but really the word I'm looking for is bookable. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Cuz that's really 
really what matters is because, you know, I can't go out there being a vulgar bitch every time because, you know, what if you're booked at a brunch show and it's just like there's kids in the audience or there's straight people who aren't going to get what you have to do. So it's figure I had to figure out how to get to meet the medium. Exactly. Yeah. Meet in the middle. And I think I, I think this competition, I really was found my stride because it's like, OK, I can be a turd, but mm-hmm. I have to polish that turd mm-hmm. and I will be the sparkliest prettiest turd out there mm-hmm. and you know what god damn it i was she was a whole she was a whole blue turd <laughs> i was with, with a with a rooted wig <laughs> <laughs> i fucking love a rooted wig okay i don't care what it looks so good though it. It look on i don't maybe some bitches can't pull off a rooted wig but in my head it yeah. looks so good i love i wish all my wigs were rooted. that's us that's us spiraling in the back getting you together oh my god don't even with beep next to us and like get out <laughs> you know what i think i think why my gown placed the bottom was because i chose those uh combat boots i knew i should have worn those bumps but you know what it's fine. they said that no blackberry blackberry mentioned it to me she was just like girl why did you wear those shoes i was just like i had another pair but i have bad ankles you know so i'm gonna take comfort over style well it's not even it kind of fit the whole aesthetic because i just like well it went more with what was under like neath the reveal of the dress Mm -hmm. but you know yeah it's fine. Mm-hmm. Also, coming from the queen that wears two inch heels. With- <laughs> 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 and I guess hey, moving you know forward, mm-hmm. uh, two inch heels mm-hmm. better than a, a what is this? By a five way, inch. Pl- uh, that pl- dress. Oh, we stunning. We work. We fully work. Cracked of out. Stunning. We're like, uh, 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 you ready? I'm like, like, yes. Yeah, exactly. We were literally. I, like, I just saw a picture, and I'm like, my God, I needed to see that up close because that dress oh, yeah. is. Stunning. Well, I'm going to wear it out again because I learned mm. that final lip sync song. And you know what? God damn it. I don't care who's there. I don't care where I'm going to do it at. But mm. I'm doing that. I'm doing you and I by Lady Gaga in that, in that goddamn gown. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> with, the, with the fucking combat boots. Mm. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm going to be honest. I would I would have said, girl, why did you wear those shoes? <laughs> I mean, they were, they were, they were, they were heels. They uh, were, you know, honestly, mm. I thought they couldn't see them. <laughs> But they were very visible. Mm-hmm. So. Oh, I didn't even tell. <laughs> Neither could I. But you know what? Maybe like underneath, mm-hmm. it just looked like a boot. Okay. Did, right. did we not just discuss how judgy a crowd could be when you step out on that stage? Oh yeah, but they, yeah. but still, like mm-hmm. underneath, like mm-hmm. the, with the reveal, how the, it was cut out super punk. Mm-hmm. I should right. It was so I should show. Punk. I should show you what I did the year before that. Mm-hmm. I did. I did. Um, do you know John Waters hairspray? Yes, of course. Okay, so. This last time was a John Waters divine reference from mm-hmm. the movie Female Troubles, mm-hmm. and my first um, evening gown was inspired, also inspired by Divine. Mm-hmm. Um, it was the roach dress <gasps> where I literally yes. had roaches crawling through shit mm-hmm. on my dress, and I stoned the roaches. Oh wow! <laughs> Were they real roaches? Gorgeous. No, no, it was it was the um, oh, oh my god, the wax I thought paper. you meant like real roaches. Oh, no, like- but I had real roaches, like fake roaches on my chest, mm-hmm. and I wore them as nails too. Mm-hmm. I put the roaches as nails, so you know it's it's trying to find that happy medium mm-hmm. between. Trash and glam. You know what? Can you send a picture of that to us so that we can post sure. it on the show so yeah, that people will go, what dra- What is? What are they talking about? So people know what we're talking about. Oh, yes, yes, about. yes. So they can say, I mm. forgot. Mm-hmm. Podcasting mm. is not a visual medium. Mm. <laughs> Podcasting is not a visual not, medium. Not yet, anyway. Right, not, right, right, right. Not yet, anyway. But, well, well mm-hmm. maybe you're going to maybe you're gonna do a YouTube series to go along with mm-hmm. it, you know, when you do buddies. Mm-hmm. Or, uh, well, we're, I'm thinking uh, Patreon first <gasps> and then maybe doing oh. YouTube later. We're, we, we have some. I have some ideas for the summer, so we're gonna really start kicking it into full gear. Are with, you doing a Are you doing a hot boy summer? Hot boy summer. Hot, oh, sorry, sorry. Hot guy summer. Are you doing a hot guy summer? Oh, I don't know yet. <laughs> are we doing a hot guy summer? Can we do a Can we do a hot guy a summer? Hot person summer. Hot person. Hot summer. person summer. A hot gender nonconforming uh, okay. summer. <laughs> As long as they're hot, I don't care. <laughs> true, true. <laughs> they're going to be burning up. Mm-hmm. Honey, they don't even need a guy to be hot as mm-hmm. long as they got a pulse. Mm-hmm. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, did you slap your knee? I most certainly did hit yeah. my ankle. I, I, I love how table. that came right when you said that. Too. Yeah. That was a whole knee slapper. That was, that was yep. definitely a knee slapper right there. <laughs> Good grief. Mm-hmm. And by the way, um, I don't know what happened earlier when you were describing... <laughs> When you were describing your drag as being a mm. slightly uh, 
as a polished turd. Yes, <laughs> but but for some reason, yes. I don't know what what. Maybe it was the way that you said it. For some reason, I was slightly turned on by that, and I'm like, uh, what is <laughs> what is happening to me? I was like, oh. why is it? Why am I suddenly? A, Attracted to me, <laughs> <laughs> you know, because everyone, you know, mm-hmm. e- everyone deep down inside finds a little bit of beauty in the in the dirty and the nasty. Mm-hmm. The yeah, and the, and you know, I have a reputation. I mean, huh? when a guy walks up to me and says hello, I already know there's a problem. Well, and I'm, I don't mean, and uh-huh. I don't mean that in a in a harsh way. I just, I'm just like, oh lord, what kind of crazy is this one? Because yeah, exactly. crazy seems to like latch onto me like super fast. But I can handle certain levels of crazy uh-huh. because I'm kind of crazy myself so <laughs> well eccentric I'm like, okay I'm question the more you get to know me the more like the, the crazier mm-hmm. that I be what's I, the craziest thing the guy's ever done to you tell me about it oh lord oh, what's the craziest I thing I, you know what I, I'm trying to think what the craziest thing a guy ever it's the craziest thing you've done to a guy <laughs> Ooh, even better what oh the the time I was climbing out of his bedroom window <gasps> And, and he still got me from behind anyway, and I'm like, "What the hell?" Got you from behind, like yes, he, he took it. He yeah, took he your just, rope. He just took it. Oh, when I was climbing out the window, he just pulled the pants down and just took it. I'm like, he's like, I just suddenly got turned on, and I'm like, "What? I'm trying to get. I'm trying to escape your house. What do you do?" <laughs> oh my god, this is the vision of that. You're yeah. literally like literally, literally running hanging, away from this man, I'm and he goes, "Oh, baby, give me that ass. out of the window." <laughs> Literally hanging out of the window because he's like, "Oh, my wife's coming. You got to get out of here." <laughs> and he tricked me. His wife wasn't coming. He wanted to come. <laughs> oh my god! I was god. hanging out of a window. Oh my god! He lit. Oh, for the, out, for the whole world to see, baby. For the whole world to see. Yeah, just like this outside the window. <laughs> now he's more like, "Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, what? What are you doing? Oh, what are you doing? Oh, don't stop. What are you doing?" Yeah. <laughs> Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, that was that was that was a uh, that's not even the craziest. So, <laughs> well, I got okay, fine. Mm-hmm. I don't, I don't think mine tops yours. Mm-hmm. But one time, I I met up with a gentleman mm-hmm. off of uh, a little app called Grinder mm-hmm. when I was uh, the body type for Grinder. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, <laughs> and we, he like was like, okay, pick me up in my house. I was like, okay. So we like drive literally like five houses down from his house. And he's like, yeah, we can start hooking up here. So we like start hooking up in the car. But it's like in the middle of summer. And like the headlights were on. Like they wouldn't turn off. So I had to like turn off the car. So it was really hot and sweaty. And it was like, oh, it's so hot in here. Can we like go outside the car? By the way, we are fully naked fucking in my mom's backseat of my car. And he's just like, oh, no, I know the spot. So we literally run butt naked to his neighbor's yard that does not have a fence around it and we proceed to fuck on the AC unit but here's the real kicker as we're naked fucking on this AC unit his dick goes limp and he's like oh sorry man I just smoked a little too much weed and I go no you just didn't like it (laughs) it's fine and so I casually uh, showed my naked buttocks along with his across his neighbor's yard and uh went back in my car put on my clothes and uh backed up five feet to uh drop him off at his house I trauma <laughs> yeah that's all there's trauma. a lot of trauma in that story there's so and much the AC trauma unit. I the imagine, AC, like, your back wasn't it fucking... hot no, it wasn't running for whatever house. reason. It wasn't yeah. running? Oh. Yeah, it was his neighbor's house. The neighbors were home, but they just didn't have a fence around their backyard. I've mm. never seen something like that. Mm-hmm. Only in Clear Lake, you know? Mm-hmm. Like, Not Clear Lake. Mm-hmm. I think the craziest thing I've ever done was I, I used to stay at my friend's house, and she lived, like, in the boondock, so it's, like, known around. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I was on, like, grinder, and I saw this guy, and I was like, I'm going to go hook up with him. Oh. Mm-hmm. So it was probably, like, 4 in the morning, then around, like, Six in the morning, he's like, "Oh, you have to get out. My mom's awake, and you can hear this bitch making breakfast and shit." Mm-hmm. So I was like, "Okay." I'm like, "Should I use your front door?" He's like, "No, you have to get out the window." Mm-hmm. But he like lived in like one of those things where like you know when your bed is elevated. Mm-hmm. Yes. So I had to like fully jump out, and then I was like, <laughs> I remember I was walking by, and he had horses and shit, and like I could see the mom fully like cooking and doing her own thing and like dancing, and I'm just like, "Oh my god." 
I just this fucked is your it. son. This I is it. Yeah, literally, like, this is it. I'm going to get shot by this white woman. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Mm-hmm. Wow. That's... Isn't being gay just full of sexual trauma? It is. It is. It is. And then you go to a couple orgies and you go, eh, nothing that I've really been through has been that bad. <laughs> <laughs> I have not been to an orgy yet. You know, if you have any Catholic guilt or mm. sexual hang-ups, just go to an orgy. Mm-hmm. And you know what? They'll get fucked out of you real quick. Because mm-hmm. you know what? Anytime you go to an orgy, even though you think no one's going to want to fuck you, there's at least five people that are going to yeah. fuck you. You know what? <laughs> you know, because over the, I mean, I mean, of course, COVID summer. Oh, I got invited right, to like right. five orgies over the summer. I'm like, I'm not coming to your house. Yeah. There's COVID going around. <laughs> I'm not doing that. We're in a can seared salmon, sir. There is there is There's, a panorama. Yeah, exactly. Panorama. What are you talking about? I don't even want to walk out the front door to go to the grocery mm-hmm. store. Why would I want to come to your house? They have me in all up in me, giving me all kinds. And oh, at the yeah. time, we didn't even know how COVID was. Well, you know, we were, I thought we were gonna die. Mm-hmm. Well, see, they could have had the orgy set up to where it's like everyone has a little stool, mm-hmm. and there's a there's a it's nice like little boxes. curtain mm-hmm. that with a hole cut out, and you can either choose to be the mouth or the ass, mm-hmm. and you know everyone's wearing PPP or mm-hmm. their protective PPP. gear. PPP, <laughs> uh, better, I don't know what they're called anymore. Mm-hmm. I'm a little drunk. Mm-hmm. Um, ah, she's already are drunk. You? You just had a seltzer. I did pour a lot of vodka in that. Oh, Lord. <laughs> so, mm-hmm. yeah, but I would love another. Okay, who's driving you home? Um, <coughs> I look like yeah, she looks like Oh, really? Yeah. Mm-hmm. You remember you were honking outside my house the other day, baby? Oh, was I? Yes, darling. Was I know. I, I know. I, I, think, I, was coming, I think I was coming. I think I was begging for seconds. You kept saying no. I'm tired. <laughs> I'm tired. I, I want to go to bed. I know it's past your bedtime. I know. I knew it. I already knew it, baby. I already knew it was past the bedtime. That was yeah. That was the day that I'm like, Joe, don't honk my car when we're at people's house. <laughs> it was like me honking, but you honked like four times. No, we heard you. <laughs> you oh, thank you. Mm-hmm. Can you have one too? Oh, this is watermelon. Oh, oh see, I'm hitting the table again. Mm-hmm. Oh, I think I'm empty too. Might as, might as well have three at the table. We're, we're having our some cute little seltzers while we yes. while we do the while we do the episode. Speaking of episode, you know what? Uh, we need to take a break. Take a little break because sure. insert commercial for later on, on, and then we'll come back in just a minute. Okay, so everybody, because uh, she already grabbed the bottle of vodka. Oh yeah, and, it's uh, almost uh, empty though. Well, it wasn't a lot because it had been sitting there for quite some time. So two years it's and three fine. months. It's no, well, not two years. Myself. I just went cucumber lime. Mm. That sounds delicious inside. It Topo sounds Chico delicious, but you can only mix it with a soda or a seltzer. That's what I should have told you to get. They have Topo Chico hard mm-hmm. seltzer. I wasn't gonna get that, mm-hmm. but I, I you know what? I eagle. saw that at the little eagle. store down the street. I'm like. Topo Chico in the can. Let me get it. But then I saw it said seltzer, and I'm like, oh no, I don't want to. Not the prickly. Pear. Not in the. I was expecting mood. blackberry. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. So blackberry. we're gonna take a little bit of a break, and we'll be right Chico. back. And we are back. Uh, we're back. We're, we're back with our special Welcome guest, Anna Lee Naylor. What what mm-hmm. in the back? I it, said, well, exactly. <laughs> and if you say it five times, you'll get the joke. So exactly, it mm-hmm. just takes it just takes repeating. It just it takes a little bit of repeating over. When and I first over met her, I was like, Emily Taylor, because I'm from Florida and everybody's last name is Taylor. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, oh, maybe she's a Taylor. <laughs> well, I did mm-hmm. pick the name because one, the first name, I was like, mm-hmm. I want to do like a pun name, but I also wanted to sound like mm-hmm. a real name. Like it took me forever to get that Sharon Needles. Oh, me neither. Until later. Mm-hmm. Until literally like seven yeah, years later. Sharon yeah, Needles. right. Yeah. I was sitting in a room alone and I was like, wait a minute. Mm-hmm. Sharon Needles. We're sharing the needle. Oh. Actually, it took me a year before I got that joke. Because oh, I'm like, Well, I remember oh, someone, on the, someone on the show was like, I got your name. And mm-hmm. I was like, mm-hmm. is this from a movie? Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. I didn't know. Is it something same. I don't understand? Mm-hmm. And then. So that's that's how I kind of like came up with my name because mm-hmm. um, Naylor was actually the name of a woman that I helped at the bank, mm-hmm. and I had a full thirty minute conversation. I said, "Is your last name really Naylor?" She said, "Oh yeah." I said, mm-hmm. "Oh my gosh, high school must have been so rough." She said, "Honey, you have no idea." Mm-hmm. We just went on and we talked about our high school trauma, mm-hmm. and I was like, "Girl, the girls are trauma." Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> we should be the house of trauma because I'm oh, like, oh, because that's what, it. <laughs> Yeah, because you, when I was work. looking you up, I'm like, work. I ran across uh, 
Annalee Nair- Naylor, who was born in 1868 and died in 1963. I'm like, this oh. bitch lived a long time. Good for her. Yeah. Then I ran across a picture of Annalee Anna Naylor, who was like, I, I'm trying to figure out how to describe this. Uh, definitely a southern woman, southern white woman <laughs> with the big <laughs> hair. And I'm yes. like, the American flag bikini. <clears throat> I'm like, no, I don't. I don't think this is her, but uh, if it is, well, is on wow, amazing drag. Right? <laughs> <laughs> on wow, amazing. Cause I, yeah, because I was looking that up on Facebook. I mean, uh, I know him by his other persona, so I was like, oh, wait, this is this is Willie. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> mm-hmm. So, yeah, you, I, I believe uh, on our break, oh, told yeah. you that. Well, yeah, because I've I've always wanted to ask this question of drag queens, uh, that we, but I never get around to it. But yeah. um, yes, do, dealing pass. with you are you have a you have a secret identity basically. Oh, I which I is not know. a which is actually not a secret. <laughs> yeah, identity, I was but say, if it's, it's a secret, I'm not doing my job yeah, right. Well, I mean, <laughs> dual identity. I mean, you're yes, you're, yes, yes. you're you're she's an AM PM mm-hmm. girl. Yeah, exactly. You're. Mm-hmm. Anna Lee in the streets and Willie in the sheets. So. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's a great, that's a great mm. way to think about. It. Um, to really like answer your question, I don't really feel like, mm-hmm. honey, it's all me. <laughs> 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 Just because I put on a wig mm-hmm. and some lashes and some makeup mm-hmm. doesn't mean that it ain't me. I'm not. Mm-hmm. I'm not one of those people that like commits to their character because mm-hmm. I mean I see it for what it is. It's just. It's always been a way to express a different side of me that me as a boy. It's a huge has, elevated persona, an elevated person, mm-hmm. an elevated exactly. version of yourself. Mm-hmm. Exactly that person, that shy, anxious person in the club that literally like is the mm-hmm. wallflower and it's like, oh god, everyone hates me, no one wants to talk to me. Mm-hmm. Is really has this person inside that be like, fuck all these bitches, I'm the motherfucking like, best of the group. Exactly, <laughs> yeah, who's exactly. buying me a shot? God damn it! Yeah, that was us the other night, though. Yeah. <laughs> Because I have met some queens who were when they're on stage, that's the personality that that yeah. they that they uh, have put together yeah. to be on stage. But when they're off stage, they're completely different. I've and seen it's that like too. See, people are, are really like yeah. out there when they're on stage, mm-hmm. and then off stage are really to themselves. Mm-hmm. I I feel like it really helped me come out of my my sh- really get out of my head. I mm-hmm. won't even say. Yeah, out of my shell. That's it, true. Out of your head. It it's just helped way. me stop over analyzing everything that I that I do, and mm-hmm. I think that's because of like, for me, like I studied acting. I did all mm-hmm. sorts of acting. I went to the high school performing visual arts. I went to acting college, She's educated. which is a joke. Don't go to acting college. <laughs> um, I wouldn't recommend it. Mm-hmm. But it helped me, like, it, like. I get, like, playing a character, but, like, what I learned in school is that to be a good actor or to be somebody that people want to watch, you have to pretend like you are that person in that circumstances. Mm -hmm. You are bringing you to every role that you do, and you can't change who you are. Mm -hmm. That's just the tool that you were given. You just have to figure out how to mold it Mm -hmm. to fit the form that you need. Yeah. Yeah. So that's that's really what I think like drag is, and it helped me understand. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, I have these parts of myself that can go up in front of a room and talk and just mm-hmm. you know be crazy and wild because that is me. You mm-hmm. know that that's a part of me. Now, do I always feel confident enough to do it as a boy? No. <laughs> the wigs do help. The mm-hmm. wigs and the giant ass mm-hmm. and titties. Yeah, and that makeup, definitely. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. I think the ones the makeup is on. Literally, like drag queens don't look their best mm-hmm. until 10 seconds we're about to go on honestly that too mm-hmm. but me honestly I don't know about you but I feel it when I put my body on mm-hmm. like oh, the makeup yeah. the makeup's fine for me the makeup's like a little ex- like, extra mm-hmm. but that's such a good job I like <laughs> to get ready mm-hmm. I like to get ready in my body I like to cause, oh yeah you do put on your body yeah cause mm-hmm. honey I'll sweat off my face uh-uh. <laughs> so I, I like to put on my body first I I'm love too, the feeling of a corset well, mm-hmm. I'm too uncomfortable in my body mm-hmm. bitch is cinched for no reason oh yeah Last night, last night I wore two corsets because I'm a crazy person. Yes. <laughs> I, was, I wanted to come out, but um, um, you know, depression fine. gets mm-hmm. you, uh, and you're like, I just like hitting makeup brushes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, um, I, I will I will say this: your makeup is 
so good. It's it was. So it's good. been on a journey, and we're getting there mm-hmm. slowly but surely. So, so far, it's been incredible. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's been. It's mm-hmm. I. You know, my eyebrows aren't even stepsisters. They're adopted twins. <laughs> no, they're adopted siblings. Siblings, because mm-hmm. they're definitely not twins. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I should show you. I should show you some pictures on my phone of like when I was first feeling myself trying to do drag makeup. Mm-hmm. I would paint the saddest brows. They were just like straight across. Oh. With, like, mm-hmm. a or, like, tiny I remember like back when I started mm-hmm. doing drag. Like that's when the girls are doing big chunky brows. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh yes, that was a that was a big trend for mm-hmm. a long time. Girl, I did not like fat brows. How much how much time and effort does it take to when you're first starting out, especially when you're first starting out doing drag, trying to figure out makeup, how you're know. going how you're going to apply I makeup, take, what I makeup? Take six hours to do my makeup. Oh. Same. Uh, same. How you're going to do your makeup? What kind of makeup to use? It's all, not even all, that. It's mm-hmm. just oh. figuring out how to make it look good, even though you don't right. know how to how, you don't know how to do it. Because mm-hmm. you know, yeah. I, I don't I don't know how people are like. Oh yeah, just watch a YouTube video about it, honey. I, before I ever started doing drag, that's all I would do is just watch YouTube video after YouTube video after YouTube video. Bitch, it didn't make no sense to me. Mm-hmm. And like my, no one has my face shape, yeah. so I'm trying to figure out what these people with like these like beautiful like mm-hmm. wide they have, like, eyes. Uh huh. Yeah. They have these <laughs> feminine features, these injected cheekbones. Yeah, I'm like, exactly. bitch, I don't, I don't know I how to make that, that look like that on my <laughs> face. And. Nobody in their life has been able to explain to me what fucking blending is. <coughs> Nobody can explain it to me where it makes sense to me. They just say, oh, you just keep kind of softening it up. No, because some people tap it, mm-hmm. some people circle it, and it all looks different. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Girl, I just mix mm-hmm. the brush. Exactly. I just, yeah, exactly. I just kind of run it, do a run little it on crease it. Or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> Girl, puts a little white mm-hmm. in it, bitch, call it a day. Some exactly. glitter in it if you're in a hurry. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. That's always what it is. You put on glitter and lashes and you go, oh, I'm not a troglodyte today. Yay! <laughs> and how do you? How did you? You know, um, you you've gone back between bearded and not not bearded in some of your drag. I oh think. yeah, I I well, honestly, sometimes I get a little self conscious about my double chin, mm-hmm. so the, the mm-hmm. beard definitely hides that. <laughs> but you know, I actually I almost I was this close to shaving it all off for the pageant at the mm-hmm. end of Dragon on Five, but I was like. Mm, yeah, fuck it. Mm-hmm. I haven't done that this whole season, so mm-hmm. why go back? I don't know. I feel... Honestly, I feel like my makeup looks better with the beard mm-hmm. than it does without the beard. I think I look okay. Mm-hmm. I I think now I could probably do my makeup a little better without the beard. But at the time, I don't know. I don't know. Mm-hmm. It, it was always fun to me. Because <clears throat> I... I I can't. It's so painful for me to shave my chest, especially with like my day job. Mm-hmm. And so, like the one time I shaved my chest, you should have seen it when I got off of work. My chest was a rash, mm-hmm. like completely inflamed, like horrible. I was like, Tried I it can't once, ever do never this. Never do it again. Yeah, no, I can't. Mm-hmm. It hurts so mm-hmm. much just because of the texture of like my body hair. Mm-hmm. So. I always was, so I thought okay well if I'm gonna have a full hairy chest I might as well like shave my beard to like go with it mm-hmm. so it's just like so it's like woman face and then like man body like hairy hairy woman man body woman man body yeah woman man mm-hmm. sh- shaman mm-hmm. shaman <laughs> shaman <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, body so that was like my thing about it for a while but then I was like yeah you know what fuck that mm-hmm. I like my beard I like the way I look with the beard mm-hmm. so yeah. Although I will say, with this beard and this um, effeminate voice, <laughs> so when I work at my job, I get called ma'am more times than I ever do in drag. As soon as I put on wigs, titties, ass, and um, everything else, they go, hey, dude, what's up? I'm like, the fuck is going on here? I'm literally looking at someone in the drive through being like, thank you very much. You have a wonderful day. And they go, oh, thanks, ma'am. And I'm like, you can see me. I have a full beard. Like, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> I had a man come up to me. I, this old man with a cane. Mm-hmm. He comes up, put his cane on the counter. I help him with his transaction. And he goes along and stay. I say, thank you very much, sir. You have a wonderful day. He says, oh, thank you, sir. You have a wonderful day. He starts to walk away. And then he turns back around and he goes, 
Oh, well, I'm sorry. I didn't know. Uh, well, thank you, sir or ma'am. Um, you have a wonderful day, whatever it, whatever it matters to you. And I said, it's, it's sir, but thank you. Oh, you know what? I love it because he was crying. Yeah. He's like, I couldn't well, see I so much out of my glass eye. Yeah, exactly. Because <laughs> I had my hair up. I'm showing them what my hair looks like up. Mm-hmm. Basically like a bunch of broccoli on the top of my head. Mm-hmm. But I had my hair up like this because sometimes it gets like a little too disheveled when mm-hmm. I'm at work. So I kind of like put it back. So I guess the, the ponytail and the effeminate voice really mm-hmm. made him think that I was a woman, but mm-hmm. you know, I, I'm convincing like men outside take of drag. Maybe now, someone will start to right believe now, me in drag. <laughs> right now, you look so hipster, I'm turned off. I'm so turned off right oh, now. Oh, you don't like my man bun? No, Excuse me. Because you look you look like every other hipster in this neighborhood. Uh, you know what? <laughs> what is a hipster? I think you're just jealous of my inches, sister. Oh, you know? should, not the inches. Should, should I be jealous of your inches? Should I be jealous of your inches? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm a very modest girl in that department. What can I say? Mm-hmm. But you know, modest in the gay community is... Tell. Mod- modesty in the <laughs> modest in the gay community is what eight inches. So you are doing all right, girl? <laughs> How many people have you been with that have eight inch? I mean, I've been around the block maybe one too many times, mm-hmm. but uh, <laughs> I have I have sampled a, a wide a range of peni. And um, sweetie, I have circled the globe. You might have gone around the block. I have circled the globe, sweetie. The only country um, I have not touched yet is Uruguay. <laughs> that might be it. <laughs> like, that that might be Cuba. Yeah, that, that, Cuba? That, Cuba. Mm-hmm. Right, right, right. Because, because, shakes, yes, shakes. because shakes. most of the European yeah. continent I've already conquered. A little <laughs> bit of Russia. Uh, she already had a lot <laughs> of a lot of Asia. A lot of Asia. Oh. <laughs> a lot of Asia. Uh, <laughs> definitely all of, of Mexico and Central America oh. and and South America and. All this other stuff, but it's like mm. you're a be- it's like your asshole's an advertisement for a Benetton. Okay, you know what? I'm versatile. I do I do it all. Oh, I know oh. how to I know how to take care of a I know how to take care of a man. Oh, okay? I bet I you do. It all. I bet you take care of a couple men. Mm-hmm. Okay. If these walls could talk. Mm-hmm. They'd be screaming. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> get me out of here! You <laughs> can't get him out. <laughs> Exactly. The poor dead mm. school children mm. are just <laughs> hiding in the closet, mm. being like, "Oh, so mm. that's what butt like, stuff this is." is. Right, exactly. <laughs> Watching gay sex. Because mm. <laughs> Charlotte was telling me on the way up here, isn't this? This is a school, wasn't it? Was it? It I looks like a school. I was playing around. I was like, "No, you're in front of a school." Right? Doesn't it? It looks like this used to be like an old school. Building. It might have been. You never know in my dress. It might have been. The thing. Mm-hmm, girl, as soon as you said it, I was like, mm-hmm. yes. That has I know. To be I, what said it, it was. I said it out mm-hmm. of my like, mm-hmm. last brain cell was speaking. Well, mm-hmm. no, it was your ESPN, honey. You mm-hmm. it in your ears. <laughs> 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 she has now, an ESPN. It might have been a school a long she time has an ago. ESPN I channel. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I haven't looked up the history of this. I just know that I like the fact that I was living inside of a building and it had central air. This <laughs> central air. <laughs> And Montrose for this price range, oh, unheard yeah. of. I mean, a window unheard 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 unheard. Mm-hmm. Every time I go to an apartment, the first thing I go is, where's the window unit? And the first thing I did when I stepped in here and I said, hey, where's the window unit? And she says, window unit? No, we have Central Air. I said, I'll oh. take it. Oh. Is that I'll like a thing it. that that Texas doesn't have? Uh, it's a it's more of a mantra. Thing. It's more of a it's more of like uh, in the loop. Yeah, it's like a, like in the in this part of the city, mm-hmm. for whatever reason, the buildings mm-hmm. are old, mm-hmm. and so they don't. Not all of them are like outfitted with central AC. Mm-hmm. Like my building's like a hundred and something years old, and mm-hmm. it's just an old house that they never just put like an AC unit in. Mm-hmm. But every other place I've been to in Texas, central heating. Yeah, mm-hmm. I have it. I have uh, central. AC. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Because, um, but see, you're outside of the loop. You know oh, what I mean? Yeah, yeah. yeah. you're outside, You're in the Galleria, so that's a that's a different Ish. that's a different thing. Yeah. Galleria Ish. adjacent. Galleria adjacent. Kind of. That's like the only thing I can think of. What is it called? Mm-hmm. High, what is it? Uptown? Highland Highland Village. Upton Village. I think it's like Uptown. I don't fucking know. Mm-hmm. You are literally like <clears throat> right smack between Little India and the Galleria. Mm-hmm. Like, that is, like, literally where you live. Mm-hmm. And it's, like, right on the cusp of, like, those fucking bougie-ass neighborhoods, too, behind. Yeah, uh-huh. Because, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. like, if I lived one house further, mm-hmm. then... 
Yeah, I, okay. exactly. You see, you see the demographic change mm-hmm. is what we'll see. Right. Okay, not everybody on the podcast needs to know exactly how to get to you where you live. <laughs> no, I just gave general directions. You know, if you know I'm talking me. to Scott. You I'm like, Scott, no, 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 no. If someone is going to stalk Charlotte, they're in for a <laughs> big surprise. Mm-hmm. <laughs> You'll see me on the house with the gay flag and the uh, the pentagram. Mm-hmm. Right, right, right. <laughs> Summoning the devil through Maybe one butthole at a time. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Got a little lo- little Nas X action going on over there. Period. Mm-hmm. Girl, she's the one that stole the pole from me. I know, right? Uh, I know. You already know. You know what I love? I climbed up the pole and he went down. Mm-hmm. I love all the, the TikTok joke videos oh yeah like, like people here where people are like oh I climbed all these stairs down to get to hell and this bitch walked to, you didn't tell me there was, was a pole, pole straight down exactly <laughs> girl I didn't walk I jumped mm-hmm. exactly like, let's see what I catch I guess, if as, I die still go to hell because the joke among my friends for the longest time is is that if we go in the hill, we gonna we gonna have a good time. Period. Mm-hmm. We're gonna be sitting up at the, the bar. The day that I get to hell, bitch, we're mm-hmm. having the biggest party ever. We're having the biggest yeah, party honey, ever. I can smoke all the cigarettes I mm-hmm. want. Mm-hmm. I know. Oh, I miss <sighs> cigarettes. Like one after, one after, one after. <laughs> sometimes I miss cigarettes so much, but I'm glad no, I quit you, smoking. No, but don't. sometimes I do. Yeah. Sometimes I do. Sometimes I'll be looking at other people and I'll be like, sometimes I miss my third lung. <sighs> <laughs> I miss I miss a cigarette. She used right to be now. my little sister, but she died in the wound. Well, I heard you had a third leg, but I didn't know you had a third lung. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. <laughs> don't worry, folks. I'll only be here for the next thirty minutes, fifteen mm. minutes. I don't, know. I don't know how long this pod. I don't even know how long I'm talking. I'm just rambling at this We're point. Just here. <laughs> I just came for the free booze. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. I didn't come here for a long time. I just came here for a good time. Uh, don't yeah, quote exactly. me. Ooh, now, ooh, now you got a redneck voice going on there. That's, she, I'm that's turned her, on again. She's a redneck woman. Hi, y'all. She, how y'all doing? It's me, Anna Lang. Mm-hmm. Y'all ready for a good night tonight? Mm-hmm. I tried doing that, but it's real hard to keep up that accent. I did go to acting school, and I can do some dialects mm-hmm. for you. Um, Not dialect. Oh, would you would you like to hear? Us yeah, give us a little sample. Yes, give us um, a little sample. Um, uh, General American, eleven benevolent elephants met Lily and Lucy in Philadelphia, who went to see Camelot in unique New York with guns and drums and drums and guns, which they kept in a bodega, bodega, bodega. They walked miles and miles and miles until they saw Manny and Nancy, who danced hand in hand in the sand as they sang many a moon, many a moon, many a moon. They came across brilliant Italian William from Topeka, who kept murmuring, "Mamma popola, mamma popola." They begged him to join them. Will you, William? Will you? William, will you, William? Can't you, won't you, don't you, William? Did you, would you, could you, William? William simply said, lily, lolly, lily, lolly. Then round the rugged rocks, the ragged rassle ran to be among Culligan and Kelly lilies to let his tone hum down as easily as a sigh. Snaps, yes. Oh my, Poetry snaps. snaps, yes, yes. Period. That's me. Yes. Yes. Period, girl. Yes. I, I know. I can do an Irish one. As I throw, my, that's as I throw my panties on the stage. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> as I death can, drop into the wilderness. Mm-hmm. I, will do, I will do a short Irish one. It's, it's, a, little, it's a little limerick. <clears throat> Oh, Parshy McGinty was an Irishman of naught, fell into a fortune and bought himself a goat. Said he to himself, of milk I'll have me fill. But when he brought it home, it found that Nanny was a bill. Oh, lighty dighty 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 die. <laughs> Do you get it? I didn't get it at first. Mm-hmm. So, like, um, a nanny is what they call a female goat, and a bill is what they call a male goat. So the man went to go buy a female goat, but then he bought a so all he was getting was cummies. He wasn't getting no milk. He was getting cummies. Oh, <laughs> ew. <laughs> ew. But you deserve it. Yeah, exactly. Right, right. Everyone loves some good goat that. cummies. Everybody loves a good cummies. Uh, you know, that goat, happiest, happiest goat Happy, ever. Uh, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Jumping over fences like Did you ever watch rainbows the, in the back. Was it the Big Lebowski where they jacked off a horse? Or what movie was that? There was a movie where the guy like jacked off a horse. I think they I know told what you're this. About. Mm-hmm. You see, it used to come on like in the nineties and stuff. God, mm-hmm. what was that movie? Anyway. Is it Spirit? <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like a Police Academy movie. <laughs> it probably was. It mean, sounds like a Police Academy movie. Oh my god! No, <laughs> that's the one where he flew into the horse's ass. Because oh, okay. in, yeah, he got yeah, thrown yeah. in and got his head stuck. I in just the remember when they did that on Jackass. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. I'll never forget Canceled Ventura, where he was just getting birthed out of the ride. Oh my god! Oh 
oh my <laughs> they were God. just watching. You don't remember where he's like in the robotic rhino and he was just literally like crawling out of it and he's <laughs> literally completely naked because he can't get out because it's so hot. Mm-hmm. It, it was, I think, the best scene of that whole movie. <laughs> Cancel Ventura. Now, do you do any? Uh, mm-hmm. you, I mean, you you have act, uh, acting training. Yes. Do you have you performed here in Houston? Other outside of drag? I've been called a thespian. I've been called a thespian mm-hmm. once or twice. Yes. Yes. Uh, um, <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not. It, not n- after college, I was like. No more for me. No, no. That, that's a no for that's me, That's for the garbage. That's no, exactly. That's it's for garbage. the books and the debt. Ooh, no, no, no. Ooh, never. No, how about no, that? No, Ooh. no. How about God? No. No, no. There's nothing, there's nothing wrong with it. It just... I think you found your niche in somewhere else. Yeah, exactly. That's really what it was. Mm-hmm. Have so, you done, like, any Snatch Game or anything? I did Blanche Devereaux. From oh, Girls. Let's hear your Blanche no, Devereaux. Let's hear your Blanche Devereaux. Yes, please hear your Blanche Devereaux. <laughs> okay. Because the one I saw of RuPaul's Drag Race was horrible. Both so. of them were not very good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they were horrible. So, mm-hmm. Well, sir, you just got me sitting over here just thinking, getting all hot and bothered, just looking at you. I mean, my goodness, that tremor of your voice, that timber. Oh, it reminds me of a hot summer's June with the mint julep was so suckling next to my breast and I was just rubbing it all up and down when I saw you working on the car fixing that big tie with that big nine iron and I said mm, baby come over here give me some of that nine iron baby Ooh, just give me all hot and bu- oh oh my goodness Ooh, where am I how did I get here <laughs> I don't know <laughs> that's just me pulling something out of my I just ass. got a lot of the vapors right in there a lot of the vapors I'm like mmm <laughs> Mm. It's not hard. You just have to. With Blanche, Blanche is, is a now. simple character. <laughs> oh, let me, oh, excuse me, Cheryl. I just have to sample the goods real quick. <laughs> mm. Oh, it's less salty than I expected. Wow. <laughs> I, I was told by my doctor to cut back on the sodium. Oh, so. good, 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 good. Mm-hmm. Uh, you, I think I heard that on one of yeah, your last exactly. podcasts. Yes, 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 yes. I have to cut back mm-hmm. on the sodium. So, yeah, <laughs> good, a good. little less salty, you but it's, st- it's still healthy and good for the skin. Right? Oh, good. Yeah, that's what I heard. Mm-hmm. You know. <laughs> I was going to say a moisturizer. Whose dick are you hey, sucking? Exactly. That? That's an exfoliant. Yeah, rip it off your skin, girl. Uh, uh-uh, uh. Don't do that. Go, rub it in go and tell it him to go see a doctor because if it's stripping off some of your skin, girl, it's not. It's hilarious. You want the fresh skin to do you buy? Don't shoot us with the girls in 2021 are going for it. Well, you know what? I just want to push the lotion on the skin or else I'll yeah. get the hose again. <laughs> Because uh, that sounds like a Put chemical peel, and you need to figure out what he's eating. Get it in the basket. <laughs> <laughs> That's the dog bag. <laughs> now. <laughs> oh, my <laughs> goodness. I'll break his neck. Oh, my. No, that was my favorite part of the movie, where she she's said like, that ex- get me out of here. Y'all, she said an exfoliant. I said, no, I know. bitch. No. You just can't let that go, can you? No. I, I'm thinking about it, and I'm like... Well, I, well, well, you've I, never sucked a dick that could also double as a loofah sponge? No. Mm-mm. Girl, that's why I got no. the clear skin. <laughs> what does it call from, bro? The clear skin and the sunlight on the skin. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Mm-mm. Is it Monica Mm-mm. Beverly Hills? Oh, yeah. <laughs> and, I learned, yeah. and I learned a valuable lesson that it's it's also not a sunscreen. So if you think it's it is, not it's, not a, it's not a sunscreen. <laughs> oh, because it burns. <laughs> yes, it burns. Oh, my favorite line from my favorite movie. Um, oh, why can't I remember? The, t- Trick. Trick. Mm-hmm. I've told, I, Miss Coco Peru. Miss Coco Peru, mm-hmm. who I love to death. I just love her to death. Icon the legend. Star. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Mm-hmm. I've only ever had to own one wig. Really? Uh, exactly. I, I mean, just one wig. The girls have one wig. Mm-hmm. She so still you know the what? same wig from 1942. Exactly. Mm-hmm. So that's why, that's why I'm like, <laughs> When I'm thinking to myself, gosh, I need to change outfits, I need to do all this stuff, and I'm like, mm-hmm. no, honey, it's just your brand. Mm-hmm. They're just going to get used to these wigs. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> just got to break them in. Yeah, I just got to break them in. <laughs> so we're, we're, uh, I want to get into one little one little thing, because I have noticed that there, this has now become a, a, a thing. First of all, since after COVID, and I'm going to, we're in, we're pretty much in after COVID, the I governor so. says so. Yeah, yeah, yeah we're post COVID. Yeah, we're, uh, we're uh, since it's post COVID. Uh, she already been drag, having 
Drag in Houston seems PC. to be everywhere, PC. and it has taken off in a big way. It seems to be everywhere, and it uh-huh. is, I feel like it's taken off in a in a tremendous. I think I don't. I cannot believe I'm saying this, but did COVID? Well, honestly, yeah, because I mean, renew an interest in drag in Houston. I don't know if I, I think it's. I mean, yes. I think all the shows definitely. are restarting, so it's like, a, oh, great right. reopening, grand exactly, show. and you know, shows are like a communal thing where people like come together, you have mm-hmm. a good time, you see you see a bunch of a bunch of uh, men in wigs, uh, are non binary people or mm-hmm. they thems, whoever whoever wants to get up in a wig and do mm-hmm. some drag. Mm-hmm. Drag is an open step platform. Exactly. It's it's a it's for everybody. Mm-hmm. Oh, Except for me. Oh, this guy I've been talking to on Growler just oh, sorry. <laughs> oh that was that was sorry, it was just distraction. That He's was me. really cute. I just I just um, sent you uh, I, I I, she sent you a little my private. She just uh, sent you five features. cherries. Um, where was I? So no, yeah, I think I think it really. Um, I think I think. What were we talking? About? We're talking about drag in Houston and how it feels like after COVID, it's it's exploded everywhere. I mean, it's mm-hmm, mm-hmm. everywhere yes, on my face, and it is it's it's. Whereas before, I didn't feel like it was. I feel like people were more hesitant to embrace it, mm-hmm. especially because, you know, certain bars had certain brands, mm-hmm. like like the leather. I'm not going to name names because we work there, but, you know, like uh. the leather bars, like the, the bars that would cater to... You a know, certain kind of crowd started to realize after COVID that they needed to expand their horizons. Mm-hmm. And I think they're doing a great job of doing that because being more inclusive and showing showing that it's not just for this one type of guy or that one type of guy and showing that there's there for everyone yeah, is just which is a good thing. really nice good for business. Mm-hmm. So, so Because uh, honestly, when I was told uh, by someone that they would start doing when Charlotte was starting to do yeah. shows there, and I was like, "Are you serious? At that bar? That's what they never do. Me. Like, yeah, like, they never do a, that yeah, at do that style. bar. See, they did. They, you know, Barbara. You know what? I'm just gonna say record. We said record on this show a thousand times. Well, I <laughs> wasn't no shame in that. I wasn't just talking about record. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. So you know, I think you um, go another bar. It's another place that's it's starting mm-hmm. to do. Um, Regal, Regal Cinema, Regals, Regals. No, but no, um, there's nothing, there's nothing to like hide about it. But um, Mm -hmm. Barbara, to see whether that they're actually like. Yeah. So Ripcord was doing shows before the pandemic. They would just do them. um, Like Punk Goes Drag was was not as often, and there was another show there called Once a Month. No. Yes. Mm -hmm. Called Kinky Queens. Mm Mm-hmm. And they do that a little more frequently because it was a really cool blend. And I think Barbara's going to bring it back when um, uh, when she does um, come back. It, it was a really great way to, like, blend drag meets the, like, BDSM mm-hmm. leather community. It was a really, really, really fun show. I wish I was there because that's what everybody says. It was so was... fun. Because they'd have BDSM demonstrations, like, yeah, that's awesome. in the middle, like, the, sh- the, the numbers, they'd be, like, a theme, so it'd be, like... Oh, tonight we're all flagging, so they'd all wear, like... It, it was so cool. Like, Barbara did awesome. such a great job. Um, and I can't wait for her to bring the show back. I'm really excited to meet her. Oh, she's she's tons of fun. Mm-hmm. She's so much fun. Such a I chill person. I always get mistaken for her. I know. You, 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 could, you guys should uh, swap drag one day. It would be... Mm-hmm. Chaotic. Perfect. Well, we or just make matching have, outfits. Well, we have to have her on the show if she's... Oh yeah, because yeah. I could bring her on. I don't yeah. know her like that, so I don't yeah. know. Yeah. You know what I mean? I well, don't know we're her. gonna work. We're all gonna be together at Hamburger Mary's. So yeah, there you go. Hamburger Mary's. Oh yeah, I saw that. I know. I literally gagged when I, I was, was like scared to ask. I you was because like, I don't know anyone. Charlotte's gonna be at Hamburger Mary's. Yes, ma'am. I was. Yes, it's it's ma'am. Black Fairy Charlotte. So gag. Yeah. Oh, it's so many. There's ten of us. There's there's my those. friend Cinema. Oh yeah, there's my friend Cinema. There's Siren Seymour. There's Charlotte. There's Miss Mike. There's Blackberry. Mm-hmm. There's Barbara Coa. Mm-hmm. I should just pull up the flyer. Hold on, on, hold on. Oh, is Dude. Uh, Dynasty gonna be in the show as well? Dynasty, Dynasty not Banks? Queen. Yes. No, Nobody's Dynasty bearded. is not bearded. Oh, Periwinkle. Oh, oh my gosh. Be, okay. Periwinkle. We had her on the show. Already. Mm-hmm. Yes. So Jacqueline Dior, Blackberry, Barbara Coa, Miss Mikey, Siren Seymour, 
Cinema, uh, Periwinkle Blush, Charlotte Shotguns, and Annalie Naylor. That is... Who's the host name? Miss Matt. Mistress, Mistress Ilib- Isabella. I think I've seen her, like, mm-hmm. drag. Honey, pageant, gorgeous, mm-hmm. Shall we just Stunning. all do pageant numbers? <gasps> Don't tempt me, because can you we do, know I said earlier that crime? I want to do you and I... Oh! We all do it <laughs> yeah! Uh, oh, that's our closing number. <laughs> we all are in evening gowns fighting each other to This Is A Crime. Is it? <laughs> I got the bat with the spikes. Oh, okay. love it. So <laughs> and the rhinestones. So uh, we're, we're going to get back to this in a minute. We're going to take one more break. Cause sure. It's always insert commercials. Insert uh, commercials. I've, yes. I've listened to your know, podcast. I know, I know yeah, how it goes. I know. And the funny thing is, are just like the funny thing is if I do not, if, I, mean, I think I did one episode where we did not take it. We were, we were so into it that mm-hmm. we forgot to take a break. And we did not take a break through the entire hour and, a, hour and 30 minute the episode that we Damn. So when I listened to the episode and then I heard a commercial cut off something that was being said and I'm like, oh, fuck. I'm going to have to put in <laughs> silences so that they know where to, because I don't want certain things to be oh, cut yeah. off. And then people are like, what the hell? Do they know where to put it in? Uh, they do now. Ooh. They I do now. So in. now they, oh. you need to stop talking to me like that. <laughs> You're not gonna leave this house if you keep talking to me like that. She gonna kill you in the basement, girl. Mm-hmm. Well, I think he's gonna choke me out, but in a different mm-hmm. way. Well, I'm gonna get oh. I'm gonna get his basement wet. That's that's oh. for sure. I'm, it's I'm gonna flood that baby. basement. Well, good thing it's self lubricating, right. baby. Mm-hmm. Baby. Mm-hmm. Harvey. Uh, baby. Mm-hmm. Baby. Hurricane Harvey. Baby Deluxe. Nothing on the flood that's gonna, that's gonna start over there. Baby but. Deluxe in Florida. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> Ooh. Oh no! She's a no, pretty queen. I love her. No, we didn't. But I don't, we know, who, I don't know who that is, but I'm just going. We're gonna talk about it in a minute. So okay, we'll bye, be guys. right back. Bye. And we are back. Welcome back. Hey. Welcome back. We're here with Annabelle Lee Miller. No. <laughs> Um, uh, sorry, it's Abby Lee Miller. Thank you very much. Abby Lee Miller. Mm-hmm. I'm the dancingest dance mom. Yeah. No, <laughs> we're we're back with Anna Anna Lee Miller. Yeah. Once again, say that five times, y'all. Y'all gonna get the joke. Exactly. I'm here. I'm queer, and y'all are getting used to it. Mm-hmm. We are. We are. Sure. So, um, you know, uh, let's. This is the last last half of the show. The final so stretch. Let's. Uh, huh? Yes, that final tug. <laughs> no, honey, <laughs> there's always a couple of good tugs left in after that final one. <laughs> Doesn't mean they're gonna like it very much. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Does it usually? So you speaking of you know what? Uh, it's been bounced around and everything else, but sure, we've been sure, talking. Sure. Uh, speaking of RuPaul's Drag Race, RuPaulian, there RuPaul's seems to be. Uh, uh, a campaign to get a Houston queen on to oh, RuPaul's yeah. Drag Race. Sure, sure, sure. And when, wh- why, when did this happen? Why are we... I think it's because Houston's so overlooked. You know, yeah, I, I always thought that Houston, from what I what I heard, and I yeah. think this is, uh, it goes back to the Rich Lux uh, documentary I watched a, a couple of years ago. Where a lot of dra- oh, I'm, ooh, it's actually really good. Ooh, I'm sorry. It's before Rich Lux was <laughs> yeah, Rich Lux. Mm-hmm. Uh, where a lot of drag queens were saying that they weren't interested in being on. Well, maybe the maybe the older generation. Mm-hmm. I I don't. I'm, you know, mm-hmm. I can't speak well, for of, them. I yeah, don't know. Some of them were just used to their old ways, and mm-hmm. that's from Florida mm-hmm. too, because Florida queens never did it until. No, there has no been actual uh, South Florida queen on Drag Race. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Other than Latrice Royale, but Latrice Royale was also living in a different area. Yeah, Latrice, exactly. Royale, Latrice Royale went to Drag Race when I came into the drag scene. Mm-hmm. Oh. So, oh, like, okay. she was a big person in our community. Mm-hmm. And then she had her move to L.A. or mm-hmm. somewhere else, and the rest took off for her because she's, mm-hmm. she's, made, she's made a wonderful living mm-hmm. from Drag Race. She is now... She, she is a CEO of... Oh, yeah, she girls. oh yeah, she she she's is, a, she she's runs a, big, a talent. Uh, she's a big time girl mm-hmm. now in the drag in the drag scene. This yes, bitch is ma'am. making handle money. money hand over fist. She mm-hmm. is doing well. Yeah, she knows how to do. She's a small white boyfriend. Mm-hmm. 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 Oh, My yeah. partner said that he was at the show that he she got proposed to mm-hmm. in Seattle. Oh, that is so sweet. Because it was like a they knew that was going to happen, so everybody went. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's that's, yeah. But so the thing with like the the Houston Queens is I think I think uh, a lot of um, a lot of them have been trying to 
trying to get on for a couple seasons now, mm-hmm. at least. And, you know, th- we... There's been representation on Drag Race for Dallas and Austin, yep. but no one, no one's ever. They've never been like, "Hey, Houston girls, come I'm on sorry. down." Uh, Shangela was from Paris, <coughs> Texas. You had Paris, well, Texas. Was she? Was she? And, yes, it's Paris, Texas, but yeah. it's uh, it's close. It's kind of like saying like, "Oh, mm-hmm. uh, a girl from Galveston got on." Maybe it's Houston. You ain't yeah, talking exactly. about no Galveston. Exactly. What's she talking about? Exactly. Well, I still represent the small little towns in that community because mm-hmm. Denver yeah. Rose lived here before. She was. Her parents still live here. Mm-hmm. Her par- yeah, Rose's parents and still like, live here. Mm-hmm. I guess Elliot has performed in Houston before. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And just well, like a Elvis. lot of the girls do perform here, and they yeah. do love the they do love the the drag scene here. Oh, here in Houston, a lot of the girls from RuPaul have bragged about how good the drag scene here is. So in Houston. I, I am convinced. I have a weird story. Mm-hmm. I was at South Beach, and this was before season six happened. Mm-hmm. And I swear to God, because I have never seen this queen since, and they, mm-hmm. I swear to God, it was Laganja Estranja, mm-hmm. was at South Beach, literally crying her eyes out mm-hmm. over a guy or some, something was happening. Mm-hmm. And I literally had an hour long conversation with I swear to God I think it was Laganja Estranja Mm -hmm. because I never saw her after that and then I was like and then I saw Drag Race and I was like huh that kind of looks like that girl that (laughs) we had that heart to heart to at South Beach I was like oh I wonder (laughs) but anyways R.I.P. South Beach you're forever coming back Mm -hmm. and uh, whenever you do it'll be fun it's been supposed to be coming back in the summer for three years now baby Will it be South Beach though, or will it be a, a new? It's still going to be South Beach. Gonna be South Beach. It's, it's going to be a, yeah, okay. So they've been renovating it for all this time, mm-hmm. you know. <laughs> you know. Those are the whispers. And supposedly it was supposed to. Oh, well, actually, it was supposed to open last summer, but you oh, know, yeah, you know what summer, happened last COVID. summer. So that oh, yeah, was COVID. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that wasn't a thing. And I kind of do want to see. You know, I remember. I'm sorry. I'm going to reveal age here. I remember when it was heaven. Then I watched it when oh it trained. Oh my god! When it changed over to South Beach, I was I was uh-huh. there. When it changed over to, I was dancing on the I was dancing on the speakers. Uh, you were in those phone parties, baby. I was there. Yeah, you were in those phone oh, parties, those feeling phone around. Phone. Oh, you want You want to talk about non consensual sexual actions? Yeah, exactly. You go into that phone party because exactly. you can't see shit. You can barely breathe, mm. and there's just hands and bodies yeah, and exactly. hands and bodies, and you you. Go through one part of foam, somebody mm-hmm. fucking. You go through another part of foam, mm-hmm. somebody smoking meth. Mm-hmm. You go through another part of the foam, somebody's snorting coke. Mm-hmm. You go through another part of the foam, somebody's beating somebody's ass. Mm-hmm. You go, ooh. And yeah, foam parties were wild. Foam Honey, all, the, the mm-hmm. way that South Beach was set up, it was like, the ceiling is so tall. Mm-hmm. Like, it, you almost feel like it's kind of like a theater, like or a mm-hmm. stadium. And honey, they'd have that foam at least, like, Nine feet in the air. Mm-hmm. Oh wow! Oh yeah, baby. And then when they changed over to the nitrogen blast, which was <gasps> oh yeah, oh my god, that, you'd be that. sweating, dancing, and then suddenly this blast of cold is coming down, and yeah. then you're like, it looked like a fog. You know what? It, yeah. You know what it reminded me of? It re- reminded me yeah. of uh, episodes of Queer as Folk, or <gasps> very yeah, that. Exactly. It was very, very Queer that. as Folk. So that and I, that was the one time that I. <laughs> I thought, I thought someone put gum in my mouth, but it was ecstasy. Ah! And I was dancing with a friend of mine, and he goes, girl, what did you just put in your mouth? Oh, he gave me some gum. That wasn't gum, girl. That was, that was E. Mm, that, was not, that was not a pleasant night. Everyone hour. loves an accidental trip. Yeah, that was an accidental trip that I never will ever want to go on ever again. Hey, baby, you just buckle up for six hours, and you're good to go. But that serotonin dip the next day, woo, it'll get yeah, you every exactly. time. So, yeah, that was, I had a good time, don't get me wrong, and I danced. You're probably all night all until night. they kicked you out of the bar. I, well, it was open till six at one time. <gasps> oh, yes. you are so right. Well, they would close for that. Mm. They'd close for that hour. Yeah, exactly. Because they would literally rip all the drinks out of your hand, mm. and then they'd open back up. They'd start playing music mm. again, and you could still be in the bar. You just couldn't have any drinks and stuff like mm. that. That's, That's when the when weird shit happened. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they wouldn't serve alcohol after that because it's like against TABC. Yeah, but it like, was, it was against TABC, but. I Girl. bet you back in the day. I bet you back in the day that what was someone on my face. Girl, no. no I'm just showing away. 
Oh. <laughs> but no, I mean, I bet back, like, back, back, back in the day before they got raided and stuff like that, I bet they were still serving alcohol. Because I know people were doing drugs. Clubs, um, after hours bar, way back in time. <laughs> I did not realize that at the, at the time we had gone, at, after all the bars closed, we went, we still wanted to dance. We'd go there and dance. It was it a was fun place. However... If you wanted a special bottle of water, oh, you could get yeah, it. Uh-huh, you could get uh-huh. it. And I accidentally ordered what I thought was a bottle of water. Turned out to be a bottle of vodka. Uh-huh. And here I am on the dance floor. Just I got my, I got my what I'm thinking is bottle of water, and I'm dancing and everything else. And then I take like this big swig. And I'm like, oh my god, this is vodka. <laughs> this is so much for I said that out. This is so much vodka. Why is there so much vodka in there? <laughs> it sounds like a good time. It was. Honest. It was a good time. Um, it was too How much. How did you even good. order that? Or did you just like I want? I just wanted. Well, uh, one of my friends. I want some water. I told she was coming. He's like, I want some water. No, I told one of my friends. I told one of my friends. I'm like, hey, I want to get a bottle of water. He said, you should order this brand of bottled water. That's what it was. That's what the code word was. That's what the code word was. So I said, okay, that sounds weird, but sure, why not? Sure, why not? And I ordered it, and like I said, once I'm dancing on the dance floor, and I take a big swig, and Mm -hmm. and then my friend looks over me, see, girl, I told you, and I'm like. I really just wanted some water. water. <laughs> I was just dehydrated. Like, no. Why are you doing this I'm to so me? drunk right now. <laughs> well. And then we go to the after hours place to get some food, and that was that. And I'm like, oh, yes. I'm like, oh my god, those were the days. I want Midtown Bar and Grill to start opening back up mm-hmm. normal hours again. Ugh. Were they open up until like? They were open up until like all night. They were open up all night. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Yes. I I need them to open back up like super late at night because you will. Oh yeah. I mean, the last time. By the way, I am of a certain age where I did not think that I would be out at four o'clock in the morning, oh, three well, or four o'clock in the morning, well, get don't, some food maybe, at Katz's Deli of all places. Maybe maybe I'm mistaken. Mm-hmm. Don't you don't you wait tables or don't, aren't you? Mm-hmm. Yeah yeah yeah. So. Aren't you like what time is your restaurant closed? We close at ten, honey. That's still, honey. That's still late as shit. Because what you ain't getting out of there till what eleven, eleven thirty, eleven, eleven thirty. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So yeah, so. unless you get caught early. Mm. But still, I had enough time to go. You know, go have a couple of drinks. Uh, well, well, and right, then, yeah, right, exactly. Right. Stay out until God knows what two, three in the morning. Do you morning. tell people that you work in the industry? You know they give you a discount yeah, on Monday. Uh, I do tell people I, I work in the industry. Yeah. I don't talk about it a lot on the show simply because oh, sorry, I'm sorry. like, uh, I heard it on the show. That's how I know. <laughs> uh, you know, I'm. You know what? I, you know what makes me so happy and kind of hard right now is the fact that you you actually listen to the show. Yeah, girl, I've at least listened to at least five or six episodes. For I'm sure. like, oh my god, I'm so I'm so happy to hear that. Cause yeah, just, and you know when I after we did the underwear ad. After yes, we did the underwear ad, I went downstairs to get a drink, and some random queen walked up to me and said, oh, my God, I listen to your show. I love it. And I'm See? like, popular. You want to be popular. I'm like, thank you so much. And I'm like, thank you. So, honey, you got to ask if you want to go a little spanky hanky spanky. <laughs> <laughs> Which is why I love the story about the the drag queens in the BDSM com- community trying to show you stuff. Yeah, my, yeah, my yeah. foray into learning about BDSM was actually meeting a gentleman who had his own dungeon, and mm. uh, don't tease me. That was time. fun, mm-hmm. but I realized at that moment after we were done, I'm like, you know what? I'm just not into this. It's I don't like being bound. Oh, I, I didn't that. like. But you know what I loved? I loved a good firm spanking. I really did. Mm. I really did. I don't know why I like that. And I like the candle wax on the nipples because he, yeah, he poured yeah. candle wax yeah, on my yeah. nipples. I it was the most that. erotic thing mm-hmm. huh? on the planet. Spanking, I have a high pain tolerance, so it's mm-hmm. good. But it doesn't really like do anything. Me, yeah. I mm-hmm. love being bound and tied with mm-hmm. ropes. Ooh. I don't know. I just, no control. Just the idea oh, that. of, that's a, it, the idea of being mm-hmm. that vulnerable. Ugh. Love that. Scared me to death. And I, oh, like, well, I, didn't, yeah. I didn't really get into it. And in fact, I had a really bad time with it. But, and it's, 
But I love the fact that he was so kind, and he well, was like, you know what? That's part of like being a doctor. Exactly. And he boundaries. was like, you know what? I understand. I'm pushing boundaries for you that you probably have never been pushed before. And if you don't like something, you can literally just say, I don't like it. Yeah, absolutely. Whoever you found was a good person, because yeah. I've been with... Oh, here's time for another trauma story. Story, story. So I, this is the reason why I will not hook up with Walmart employees anymore. Oh, uh, because... <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Walmart's involved. Yes. yes. This so this dude, this dude, this dude I really met nice. off of, <laughs> this dude I met off of Grinder, and he was just like, "Oh yeah, I'm a dom. Yeah, baby, yeah." So I was like, "Okay, cool." So I go over to his, I go over to his house, and he is like a budget dom. So he decides to uh, duct tape me to his closet door oh, no. and proceed to paddle me with a kitchen spat. <laughs> Girl, that ain't no dom. That's a boy that's trying to do shit. Exactly. A budget, a budget dom, baby. A budget dom. And then when they see stuff online and they think that they are... could create it because like yes, it's like duct yes, a little informative. Thing. Look, I'm, I'm all about very, like, I'm all about trying to save a dime. But if you, oh no, Lord. Like, tell me about duct tape. What is it? What, is, what? It's, it's not good. Duct tape is not oh, used because yeah. it can cut the circulation. Yeah, uh-huh. it can. Yes, it's easy to. Yes, it's easy to get out of. Mm-hmm. Yes, I'm a. I'm like I. I've been a dom for like fucking four years. My old partner. Oh, mm-hmm, but period. I don't. There's certain things that you can't cut through because it can really damage a person physically. Mm-hmm. Like if your if your weight was distributed to a part where it was on your arm, yes, then yes, your yes, arm yes. could have been fucked up. Yeah, mm-hmm. or it could have hurt a nerve. It could have done something. Mm-hmm. So without here's your knowledge. here's 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 what makes this story traumatic. Ducks tape me to the wall. Ducks tape me to like one of those high bar stools that you literally get at Walmart mm-hmm. with like the back over it. Tried paddling me again. I was like, that's not working, baby. So he ends up like kind of like hog tying me with duct tape on the bed, and I was and you know I was I was doing a little sucky sucky, like a good little faggot I am, and um, he was like okay, so he like pulls his legs back and he's like eat my ass, and so I was like all right sure whatever, <laughs> so I go to eat his ass. Why does he got a shitty kitty baby? Why does he got a shitty? Not a dingleberry. Oh baby, yes. Not a whole dingleberry girl. And you know what? I didn't leave. <laughs> and I still ate the ass. Because you know what? I didn't love myself like I should have. I still ate that ass. I, you know what? How is it that our <laughs> show... I ate it. How is Why it that our I show... It, oh, I'm sorry. Can I, can I say I'm this? I'm sorry. How is it that our show in the last 30 minutes of our show <laughs> always devolves into... Sex stories. It's because like the, it's like the... Traumatic, like horrifying, horrifying sex, sex. Mm-hmm. stories. Because yeah. horror sex story. <laughs> horror sex story. What's your most traumatizing sex story? Yeah, exactly. We, which which time? <laughs> let's go to one to ten. What do you want to hear? Exactly. <laughs> oh, a dingleberry. That's the. You know, I. I'm that's not, when you eat around. You're like. Can you I, spit it out. Spit in their face. Well, I'm. I'm not. His hair was okay. His hair was dyed like this baby shit green. Mm-hmm. Also, was a little bit of baby shit green, so oh, I don't know what was so happening there. Oh but my god, it, it was trauma. Mm-hmm. That's why I'm whispering, so it's even worse for your listeners. Oh trauma. my god, exactly. Oh my god, this is horrific on so many <laughs> Was it from the poo poo or from? The- I don't know. Don't that was my problem. I, mean, if it's- I don't know. Can I? Can I tell you this? So, if it was green. He eats a lot of healthy vegetables. Sure, yeah. sure, sure. I got, green, I got a little yeah. extra fiber that day. That's all. Yeah, is if you eat something right. blue, yeah. like Superman ice cream. You know, you know what freaked me out? What? The first time that I ate, the first time that I ate beets. Oh yeah, it makes sense. Um, and then I came and, you think and then you're I took a shit and blood. Yeah. And then I took a poop, and I'm like, <laughs> "What the fuck? I, I need to go poop. to the doctor." And then I had to look it up, and it was. And someone said, "Oh, oh no!" And I went online and I looked it up, and they were like, "Oh, it's normal for that to happen." Oh yeah, baby. Beats. And I'm like, "Thank it's God, good for you. it's actually good for you." Oh God, I want to have you out. beats now. Beats but I wasn't really. I don't like beets, so I made it into like beets. You just smoothies. gotta roast them and peel out the. No, outside. I just it's do smoothie, smoothies. I made. I used to make them into smoothies I because could, I, could, I could not no. eat beets. My grandma so used to eat beets. Dirt. Like that. They're it's just, just like terrible. Dirt. I don't like dirt. I love good dirt. Mm. You don't like your earthy oh. taste, mm-hmm. but you sure will eat a mm-hmm. fucking dirty ass asshole out. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> 
a green one at that. She don't like the taste of dirt, but she likes the taste of I know, and a green one at that. A green one at that. What she was eating Superman ice cream two days before. Superman? That is so specific. I will tell you You don't know what Superman ice cream is? No, I've never heard of that. Superman ice cream is like fucking blue-ass ice cream, and it's called Superman because of the color. Oh. Oh. Am I, is this a Florida thing? I I, it, a Florida. Must, it, it must sound, be, It sounds a, like some... Y'all never heard of Superman? I no, we it have sounds never like some heard of that. That's a Florida... Florida alligator place. swamp shit. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Girl, we're exactly. the swamps over here. Too. Girl, might as well. Mm-hmm. We're, the, we're, the, we're, the, we're the bayous. See, we, we, had that, we had that ice cream truck. You remember those ice cream trucks? Oh, we used to... na 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 They'd always serve, they'd all, every ice cream truck, they'd have the same 20 flavors. Mm-hmm. <laughs> exactly. Sorry, you know, I just hungry. heard an ice cream c- cream truck a couple of days ago, and let me tell you something. You never had this? I have no, girl. No. 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 I don't even know like what this. that is. It's like rainbow no. ice cream. Hold on. Okay, you're going to have to, okay, you're going to have to post that. Yeah, on. please. Oh, it's, 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 they're saying Superman ice cream, but it's like, Fifteen different colors. Yeah, yeah. I've I was never seen about, any. Yeah, it's what, like yellow and red and blue. What actually? What I was talking about was about this one. Mm-hmm. Hold on. Oh, it's, no. Nope. This see more no. blue ice cream. It looks like Cookie Monster's this Kaka. Is, yeah, this yeah. Is Cookie Monster ice cream. Uh huh. Oh, I, see, there you go. Yeah, I don't understand where you, where those flavors came from. From no, Florida, yeah. I've never heard of those no, things. No, we have Bluebell here, honey. Mm-hmm. We ain't fucking with no weird cross-eyed hillbilly yeah, backwoods sure mess shit. You're mm-hmm. getting uh, salmonella from your fucking. No, ice that's <laughs> that's listeria. No, that's, wasn't it E. coli? No, yeah. it was listeria. Oh, thank you, thank I you. Know, sorry, you're looking the, the lids too. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> and you know the funny, the fucked up thing is, is that. Six or seven people died, and they didn't do nothing to Bluebell about. They just, you know, they just, they just shut down production for a little yeah, bit. Yeah, it's a small Texan. Oh, Although, we this, may not have way, heard, but I bet you, I bet you, they paid money. That was the, did. by the way, that was not here in Texas. That was the factory in Alabama. Oh, was it? I thought it yes, was in Texas. No, it oh. was. Yes, they had moved to Alabama. Oh, see, that's what they get. Yeah, that's see, that's what they, what they get. Because mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Alabama lets you do whatever you want to, and mm-hmm. they don't give Growing a shit. Growing up the hillbillies, the ER's, like, hoo-ha. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's, and you would think in Texas, where life. they let you get away with a lot of shit, I guess they didn't let them Not get away murder. with enough. because they were, no. Yeah, most of that stuff came from Alabama, and I'm like... Mm-hmm. Girl, uh, I'm not eating Bluebell. I haven't eaten Bluebell since. Hold your phone up. That's to hold your phone up. <gasps> you can you can take one if you want. No, no. I no. got like nineteen. You are of these so things. you're so generous. I am. Look it's at you holding selfies. up your phone. Oh my god! I, I know. Really like that. You know what I love? You know what I love though? It's I just I just want to run. A nice meaty dick. I love a nice little. All was, honestly, all, all I was going to say was that I wanted to run my fingers through his hair. Oh, his hair is so amazing. Well, I am a walking Garnier for tea sad. Do you remember those in the 90s? Mm-hmm. Uh, 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 Garnier. <laughs> She's just having a full orgasm washing her hair. I'm like, this is so unrealistic. Can I, can I, my, my favorite commercial from the 90s was about a lousy-ass clone. Where mm. all these women are oh, screaming, Eagle Eats! Eagle Eats! And I'm like, <laughs> what is it? Eagle Eats? E- no, Eagle Eats? E- e- Eagle Eats! Now all these women are screaming out this out of little shutters and windows from whatever country they're from. And I'm like, never this, perf- this, this cologne is awful. <laughs> and it's called Eagle Eats. And it was just, oh my God. Eagle Eats? Eagle Eats. Eagle I'm going to have to Google that. Mm-hmm. Do you remember Dracar Noir? Oh, of course. Uh, Everyone's baby first starter cologne. Girl, how old are you? Good lord. How do you remember um, all I'm, this stuff? I'm still young. I'm just soft and shrivel. She's just well educated. I am. I'm, I'm a worldly girl. Mm. Um, I'm about... I'm almost about to be in my 30s. Oh, look at Someone you. In oh, almost in my 30s. The 30 you're, you're younger than me, right? How old are you? I'm not going to say on a public forum, hello, ew, gross. Well, he's not quite thirty yet. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm I'm two years older than you. Oh, you're so old. Yeah. Mm. Oh, 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 you cunt! <laughs> <laughs> I hate both of you bitches because I'm the oldest person at this table. So, 
I'm like, oh, honey, super, I've, I've, I'm like the goddess of you bitches because I'm like super old. Goddess. Honey, I've definitely fucked people that could have been my grandpa's age. Yeah, you don't when even When I was like 18, I was fucking like seven year olds. Mm-hmm. Seven year olds? Mm-hmm. You were fucking seven year olds when you were 18? 70. Oh, 70. I'm so sorry. I was getting the money, girl. Mm-hmm. I, 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 I didn't like because on the fifth day, I was cr- creating you bitches. They gave I mean, you money? <laughs> I, they gave you money, they could. Good they lord. They gave money. That's how old I am. I'm like. in Florida, like, bitch. The money. Mm-hmm. The money's unreal. The money is poor. The money is rich. Okay, I have a, I have a random story about Jupiter, Florida. How I found out about Jupiter, Florida was from a roommate. No, a roommate in college. Um, the first time I ever met her, she um, literally greets me at her apartment door, butt ass naked, and she just said, "Oh yeah, I've just been uh, getting fucked in my ass when my boyfriend like fucks me with." Uh, the little rabbit dildo, you know, the, with yeah, the little yeah. rabbit head, just DPs me while he's fucking me in my ass and pussy, completely naked, and then stayed completely naked the whole. Did you know Jupiter, Florida? From Jupiter, Florida. Maybe I knew her. I went to probably high school with her. You probably did. Gabby? Gabby. 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 Rella, Gabarella, G- Gabby. Gabby. She was a cheerleader. Probably. That sounds like. Really she was older, though, so maybe you oh, guys maybe. miss each other. You know. She definitely is like, I think, two years older than me. She was a mess. Anyways, that's the only thing I know about Jupiter, Florida. So that's just, every time I think about Jupiter, Florida, I think of um, crazy theater people that are nudists and like to fuck and do drugs. That, yeah, because we do have a big theater there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And um, nudists, I don't know about, actually, um, (laughs) I saw a ghost. (gasps) One time I saw a ghost. No, but um, Jupiter, Florida is pretty crazy. They do have, like, little private nude beaches, but those are owned by people. So unless you're invited, you're invited. Oh. And they have uh, this beach that's called Blowing Rock. Bl- what? So you go, on, you go on the rock and you blow people? No, it's actually, for oh. some reason, there's caves there. It's just this little part. It's just full of caves. People we don't know why. blowing on these fucking they caves. They probably do. Oh, yeah. That's where all the quinceañeras take their pictures. <gasps> oh, my God. So just some fucking fags in the background cruising as the fucking quinceañeras. She's, oh, gorgeous. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I don't mean to offend with the word faggot, but I also am a faggot. And... A faggot is there. just a pile of sticks. Mm-hmm. A honestly. Or a cigarette a if cigarette. you're in England. A cigarette. A fag. Mm-hmm. Or a cigarette if you're in England. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. you know. In the UK. In the UK. UK, hon. UK. UK? Mm-hmm. Bing, bang, bong. Ding, ding, ding. Ah. Season 13. I mean, I'm sorry. Not season thirteen. Season two. Of, season two. Of the better I'm version sorry. of Drag Race. Of the honestly. better version. Of, of the most... Honestly, outrageous version it's of... It's because they're not competing for yeah, money. Exactly. That is what it is. They're not competing for money. Mm-hmm. They're just competing for the title, and baby, they won it. Yeah, exactly. These, like these bitches the were eh? cut throat. <laughs> these bitches were cut throat and had no problem with reading each other to who each other's face. Who was your favorite oh, yeah. on there? And I'm like, Bimini. I, Bimini, Bimini. Oh, I love Bimini. 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 But we all knew the greatest name I feel ever. like we would. What does it even mean? Mm-hmm. Nothing? I have no idea. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm Bimini Bamboo Lash. I come out with a fucking football. <laughs> <laughs> the fucking first office she came out in. I'm sorry. I loved it. Mm-hmm. I thought it was I compared love... to everybody else's. Mm-hmm. It could have been done better. They mm-hmm. could have seen True. the edges, but I'm like, it was sick. I love the fact that there was no none of that. It was. It was. It was just straight drag. It was straight drag. It was straight mm-hmm. drag. Like whereas, season 13, whereas season 13, where season 13 has gone on for so they're all, they're all long. Wearing, like, they're all wearing Marco. Like, did you see that oh one episode? God. There was three girls. Mm-hmm. That did the Mar- Everybody had a Marco Marco. Mm-hmm. That's the thing that's intimidating about Drag Race now, because it didn't used to be like that. No. I mean, well, the funny thing is... make their own shit. Like, and Misha, the funny thing Milan, is, is that if I watched... Um, Trixie Mattel, I I I was I not saw, a big fan of her, and now I'm a huge fan. I just saw her moving parts thing; it was so good. Did yeah, I'm I'm now a huge fan. That but, shit, like with like, okay, when we talk about like dealing with friends that go through drug problems because no, it no. happens in the drug mm-hmm. community, the drag of community course, a lot, all the time. Mm-hmm. Like that episode, that thing where like um, Katya mm-hmm. messaged her that nasty ass message. I've mm-hmm. gotten those before. Oh yeah, and it really like ultimately like triggered me, and the way that she was, it's like you know what, she's not in a good headspace. Let's move on. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Was like, I'm like that's all you can do for your friends. Yeah, exactly. I just have mixed. I 
I did enjoy the movie. I just have mixed feelings about Trixie Mattel because she um, definitely doubled down on something she shouldn't have doubled down on. She did, like, at one of the Boulay Brothers, like, Halloween specials. I saw she, that, though. Yeah, you know. Yeah. And then, like, uh, do you know it's trans fat? I, that's their Instagram handle. I can't remember. I mm-hmm. wish I remember their name. But that's their Instagram handle. It's trans fat was, like, calling them out on it and being like, hey, like, all this stuff. And all, like, these Trixie fans started attacking her, uh, them, and it just wasn't. Uh, it wasn't really good, and then Trixie just never apologized. So, you know, and that uh, that always kind of like sits in the back of my mind. You know, but, yeah. you know what is it with RuPaul? RPDR's fans are the worst. They honestly, are the toxic. And they are the most toxic what and is, worst. And Trixie fans. says in her thing, like, um, if you're unless you're like doing drag, just mm-hmm. because you watch Drag Race doesn't mean you're a drag. Yeah, like, exactly. You're not an expert so on drag. It's like drag is hard. Honestly, I, I tell I tell my I tell my friends that come out and support the shows and stuff like that. I say, honey, you can't say shit like that. Mm-hmm. You've never been up in a wig. You've never had to be mm-hmm. standing there in front of an audience full of gay people going like, eh, give mm-hmm. me a stink sometimes face. It's sometimes, like, because I've been there, like when you don't have money to buy good shit. Mm-hmm. Exactly, because it's, it's just like nobody knows. Exactly, you're still out there to perform, mm-hmm. right? And it's like, like I, honestly, to me. I don't care what you look like. Can you entertain? Mm-hmm. Are you entertaining? Yeah, exactly. Are you going to do something that the three other girls before you just did? Or are mm-hmm. you going to do something that is like, oh, wow, I'm going to this person's show because nobody else let does me, this? Let me tell you something. I have been with, and this was years ago, with drag queens where we went thrift shopping. Oh, yeah. Find yeah, yeah whatever yeah. they need. Shoes, dresses, whatever. I, I watch you take, <laughs> take a $3 dress. And turn it into the most amazing thing you've yeah. ever seen. What I'd be like, oh my god, why would you buy that? Girl, I have a plan. I know what I'm going to do with it. And yeah. then when I would see them before they would perform, I'm like, bitch, you look amazing. Uh-huh. You know? This was a $10 dress. Mm-hmm. I added this and this, and that's all it needed. And I'm like, that's fucking vision. Exactly. That's it just takes a little ingenuity. A little ingenuity and mm-hmm. everything else. And by the way, uh, Trying to make a living in drag is not the easiest oh, thing no, to hard. do. Oh, it's maybe not. So, you have to have a second job. Yeah, you have to because one, all your expenses, all your, most of your expenses go to your look. That means you have to have gowns, you have to have wigs, you have to have makeup, you have to have all this stuff going Honestly, on. And wigs can be more expensive. Wigs than oh, are God, expensive. Wigs are expensive. Oh, wigs no are reason. expensive, and and thankfully enough, there is one wig expert in the Montrose that does fantastic wigs, but they are expensive. Well, there's a cu- there's there's a couple people mm-hmm. there's people that can do it, mm-hmm. but it is. But also, ex- like you can just mm-hmm. I don't know. For me, it's like if I want something, I'll do it myself. Mm-hmm. That's my thing is like figuring out how to do what I want mm-hmm. and make it look good. And, and like I can style ish a wig, but it never turns out exactly the way I want it mm-hmm. to. But still, that's why my brand is trash. Mm-hmm. <laughs> No, I mean, actually, your brand is actually just pretty it. good. Yeah, your, you your know. Your brand is good. Brand, brand. Mm-hmm. I hate the word brand, but... Well, yeah. that's the... Those are the How terms. I market myself. <laughs> those are the terms that we have to use if we want to... Exactly. Yeah, if we want to succeed. Even... I don't even like the word brand. I'm like, oh, now I'm branding myself. Mm-hmm. That's, oh, so it's, mar- it's, it's weird. Marketing. It's weird trying to market yourself. Yeah, exactly. Those are marketers. Mm-hmm. Definitely yes. weird to do Matt so. Mm-hmm. Well, we're almost at the end of the episode. What, 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 what? I have had an amazingly good time with you girls. Did you? Stop have, pulling my leg. I'd like to pull some. Actually, stop pumping my leg. Oh, my God. What are you doing, Joel? Okay, you know what? You still have a dick. I still want to do stuff to it. I'm oh, my good goodness. <laughs> BB, mm. if you can find it. <laughs> <laughs> Lord, I love when you queens say that, and then you pull it out, and then I'm like, oh, my God. Oh, honey, it's nothing. It's nothing to write home about. Mm-hmm. You can maybe you can maybe write um, uh, a small little. I'm supposed to know. I'm Y'all supposed all to say. Thank you. thank you for helping with that. Joke. Y'all all say the same thing. I've only taken it seriously once when I first when I first. Oh, honey, I bet you take it seriously all the time. Mm-hmm. When I saw my first micro penis, and I was like, oh. <sighs> Oh my God! Can I tell you another traumatic story about oh. how I had sex with someone that had a penis the size of my pinky? Okay, I have had the same sex with the same person, probably. Oh. I bet, and he gave me an anal fissure, baby. How? Thank you, how? because he couldn't get it in my hole. Wait, for, can he I, can couldn't I get it in my hole. Wait a minute, first of all, and I maybe we had two different else. responses because uh, my response the first time I saw it was. 
Oh no, you're a bottom. Mm-mm. You're you're definitely oh, a bottom. No. no, see, I was never I was never that like confident. No. Although you're, my dick was mm. bigger, I was just like, mm, yeah, maybe I'm not. No, gonna, I'm not gonna you're a bottom. That's that was oh, my, my first response. My was no, you're a bottom, and I don't mean any harm to those in the micro penis com- community. Yeah, but the fact of the sure. matter is, is that when I took one look at it, I went, no, you were, no. Well, have you ever had those guys that are like, here's a picture of my tiny penis. Tell me how tiny it is and degrade me. All the time. Oh, yeah, baby. Never. Never? Is that a thing? Yeah, oh, baby, always, yeah. Girl, they want you to step you on know, the dick and everything. Uh-huh, that. Big... And then I've also had a weird, the weirdest thing that ever happened to me on Growler was someone was like, hey, how you doing, love? Uh, he's from England, by the mm-hmm. way. That's what, the accent. How you doing, love? I was like, oh, I'm doing great. How about you? Oh, great, great. Glad to hear it. Can you show me a picture of your poop? I said, <laughs> I said, sir, no. Mm-hmm. I will not show you a picture. I get those on Instagram poop. all the time. Mm. <laughs> I had say- a guy from Houston, because I tag my stuff on Houston. Oh, Texas, my God. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And they're always like, oh, like, well, you want to come over? I'm like, okay, send me money, and I'll come over. Period. Mm-hmm. And they don't. So I'm like, unless you're going to be honest. Like, uh-huh, pay me. Yeah. It's not even Fuck you, pay you. me, bitch. I'll dress it for you. Uh-huh. I'll it's $100. You. I think it's $100 I ever made for uh-huh. Exactly. Oh, good Lord, no. I mean... I can't believe we made you blush. I I've, li- I've listened to you time and time again. Honey, you just ain't never had anyone as kinky as me, baby. I'll rock your world, baby. I'll spit voices. in your mouth. I'll fart in your eye. <laughs> I'll give you the big guy. <laughs> You've been, oh, honey, yeah. been waiting for this moment, haven't you? You've been waiting for this moment. baby. You have been waiting for this moment for God knows how long. And I appreciate that you She's put the work. Years. I've been I appreciate that you put the work and effort into it. I really do. I like yeah. a man who puts work and effort into whatever they're doing. No, honey, but well, you came to the wrong you came the wrong partner here because I'm just a pillow princess. <laughs> I just I'm just like a beast whale. <laughs> she said a beach whale. She said a beach whale. She said a beach whale. I literally just read a story about why 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 all the sea monster stories from from the past uh-huh. were based on the fact that most whales had large erections when they were coming out of the water. Hmm. And basing and the idea of most of those stories are the fact that whales have erections. And when they're flipping over in the water, they, yes, they do look like sea monsters. They do look, I mean, when you think about oh. the fact that the blue whale, the largest animal to ever live on the planet. It's like a six foot long dick, like, yeah. Six foot is not even, no, it's no. Like six it's Yeah, it's six a huge stories. penis. It's a yeah. huge penis. Well, imagine. So imagine that. Well, you don't have to imagine. You can go on to baddragon.com right now and get yourself your own whale yeah, exactly. penis. <laughs> Exactly, the and for the long, longest time, sailors would would. I want the one with spikes. Go too. by and go. Oh, that's a sea monster. No, that's just my a, dick. That's just a whale dick. That's just my dick. Can you imagine a whale just being like, "No, that's just my dick." Oh why my are y'all? Gosh. Why y'all looking at my dick? Mm, yeah. Why you? Why away? y'all looking at my dick? I'm trying to attract the mate. How many people do you think it would take to jack off a whale? <laughs> for you, just I don't even want to know. Just you and drag. Can you imagine? You would drown. And oh, bad! I wouldn't drown. Even, <laughs> even if you got all miss a drop. Even if you. <laughs> not the whole. Not the not, sperm. No, whale. she did not. Not the sperm whale over here. No, no, <laughs> no. Well, at least you wouldn't get exfoliated to death. So. <laughs> I'm going with this loop of penis. Oh, we are talking about some weird shit today, y'all. The I semen know. are the size of Annalise. Annalie Naylor, everybody. Annalie Naylor. Get in my belly. <laughs> get in me. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. This is big. This is big. If I swear to God, if this doesn't get me a thousand listeners, I have no idea why. Because this is well, the most probably hilarious. Well, probably I'm here. <laughs> it's the most hilarious. And people are going to go, oh, my God. That's... Oh, my God. It's my cousin, Annalie Naylor. Annalie Naylor. Annalie Naylor was on the show. <laughs> yes, I was. I was here. Mm-hmm. You know, that happened. Mm-hmm. And uh, we had a well, great time with you. Wait, did you? I couldn't tell. We had a great time. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, Annalie, if I'm not under no, the table fine. doing stuff, but, you know. I uh, know, I can't see. Sir, let me see your hands. You don't want to see <laughs> my hands. 
<laughs> but you because know, they would already be on you. Oh, oh, see, well, you remember, you remember what they used to say in uh, like Catholic school that if you jacked off too much, you get them hairy palms. I don't know. I never went to Catholic school. No, I just jacked I. off. I'm anyway. a heathen. Oh. <laughs> Born in mm, if that was the case, my I mean, I'd have long blonde hair coming from my <gasps> from my oh, hand. It's six thirteen. It's six thirteen, baby. Six thirteen. Got the B one inches. Oh, mm, mm. good Lord. Mm. <laughs> you got the B or you got the B one? <laughs> I like the B two. Mm. Girl. Anna Lee. Mix? Can I get the mix Anna Lee. We have to end the Joel episode. Tatum, I know we have to end it, but um, there's been a question I've been dying to ask you this whole time before I let you go. Um, is there uh, any relation to Channing Tatum? No. Uh, Why is... No. <laughs> if there was, don't you think I'd be rolled in Channing Tatum money right now? Oh, I, I thought pro- you'd be rolling in Cousin Dick. You know, you just... No. <laughs> Not Cousin Dick. I would roll in that cousin dick though. I know you would. I would roll in that cousin dick. If cousin if if cousin Channing came over and said, Joel, <laughs> my, my my wife just left me. I need a place to lay my head. Oh, honey, Come the on wife don't here. even have to have left him, baby. You just say because his out. wife did leave him. <laughs> oh, oh, oh! Sorry, I'm not I'm not that current. Yeah, um, his wife did. They did get a divorce. So yes, mm. if cousin mm. Channing came over and said, hey. Cousin Joel, can I come over and Cousin stay with Joel. you? Mm-hmm. I need to get away from the paparazzi and everything else. Come on over here, baby. I'll take care of you. Mm-hmm. I'll take care of you. I can tell you right now, remember that scene in... Um, Ghost? No. This <laughs> is, <laughs> no, this is the end. The book. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yes, where he has a little dog collar on. And it, yes, uh, that's, oh, that's how oh. Shannon would leave She's a puff. Oh, woof, woof. <laughs> I don't know how to make a dog noise. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm a little drunk. Calm down, Shannon. It's going to be all right. <laughs> Not Shannon. Mm. Mm-hmm. I'm more of a kitty myself. Bye. Uh, are you? Bye. Uh, right, right. Bye. Signing off. This is Annalie Naylor. You can follow me at, at Annalie Naylor on Instagram and um, also Annalie Naylor on Facebook. And if you are a straight man from a foreign country, please send me a DM telling me how much you want to marry me. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget the money to PayPal. <laughs> exactly. Oh, Venmo also at Annalie Naylor. <laughs> <laughs> And there we go, Annie Lee, Annie Lee, Anna, oh Lord. We all got a little lick at us. Luna of the Lilies. Mm-hmm. Luna of the Chilies. Mm-hmm. <laughs> She's got them big. <laughs> Luna of the LaRue's. <laughs> hey, <laughs> she said I can't. Oh Lord, these these bitches here. I mean, oh Lord. We Honestly, are. we could we could have a four hour podcast. We could have honestly. a four. It would have to be a. I would have to break it down into five parts. Well, you'll just and have to have me. Well, I'm just hearing that you have to have me back. That's yeah, what, well, what I'm we're hearing. Oh, yes, girl. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes, queen. Yes, you'll we'll be just, back. We'll just shoot the shit. We'll, we don't have to talk about drag. We talk about dick. The first, the first time <laughs> we ever got our periods. <laughs> The first time they made me bleed. First time they made me bleed. Oh Lord, we you ooh. That's girl. Girl. You know, I did make someone bleed, and that was weird. Me too, because I was fisting them. Oh, oh. Okay, you know what? All right, we have to. Ra- we, okay, I know. We have I know. To wrap this up. I know. Joel's giving us this look like yeah. you bitches. Shut the fuck shut up. The fuck no, up. because Charlotte went into a fisty territory, and I'm like, oh no, we gotta shut this down. I know. <laughs> Why? Usually, you, this you bitch is like at the end of the show. She's like, Joel, calm it down. Oh, bring no. it down a couple of notches. I'm here. I bring the chaos. I know. But uh, this time, she talked she about. Has K as she's talking about fisting somebody. No, you got K. <laughs> <laughs> Skeleton the K girl. Uh, Woo! Girl, all right. We're all the K holding up. All right, everybody, everybody say good night. <laughs> good night. Good night. Wear a condom when you suck dick. These bitches here. I swear to God, these bitches here. 
I haven't tried to figure out what to call this episode, and now I'm like, it's oh, just call Lord. It condoms. <laughs> 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 just call, um, call, you need bring condoms because there's no protection here. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. There's got there's got to be a good oh, tagline exactly in there. Exactly what I'm gonna call. Oh. It. Bring condoms because there's no protection here. here. Oh, that's a great or traumatic sexual experiences with Annalie Nail. <laughs> <laughs> Can we talk about where we're gonna be next week? Oh yes. yes, we are. We are going to be at Buddy's. Annalie, come come see us at Buddy's. <laughs> Buddy's Houston, located fire. off of Mont and Rose. Yes, <laughs> Fairview, right? Yes, Fairview. Yeah, it is located next off to of Hamburger Mary. Mary. Next to Hamburger Mary. Yes, yeah, exactly. Oh, we we will be there. We'll be doing a show, and we will be having a good Live time. Shots Live and in person. Mm-hmm. Live little gay person. talk show. Yes, little gay talk. Oh no, I wait till the show. I was gonna like secrets. We're gonna give away some stuff, but I'm gonna wait. Secrets. Be there or else. Be there or else. Be there. Okay, are you bitches done? <laughs> yeah. Are you? Do- you can press. You can press stop anytime, baby. Okay, I'm gonna. I'm gonna press this. Houston's hot mess of a podcast. The show is sponsored by Tubi's Woodworking. Tubi gives you wood. Also brought to you by Bitch Boy Undies. Get you a pair or else. You can follow the show on most social media at That Lil Gay Talk Show. Check out the website, thatlilgaytalk.com. Music and vocals by Jamie D of Diamond Cut Entertainment.